Hello, everyone. Welcome to Time Capsule here on the Game Zone Quick Twitch channel, the show where we travel back in time to your favorite years in gaming and speedrun our way through popular or influential games during the time of their release. I am your host, Smooth Operative. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope everyone had an excellent weekend. I know I did with West Coast Weekend, and it has been very busy here for those of us working on the hotfix. We've been doing some winter cleaning, which we will continue to do in tonight's episode of Time Capsule with a speedrun of Super Mario Sunshine 120 Shines. But first, let's go over some announcements. AGDQ 2021 online is coming up soon, and the Yeti has a virtual attendee shirt on sale now at the yeti.com slash AGDQ from now until December 15th. This exclusive pre-order shirt will have a virtual attendee design and will be shipped out prior to the event so you can have it just in time for AGDQ 2021, taking place January 3rd through January 10th. As always, a portion of the proceeds for every shirt sale will be donated to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Speaking of West Coast Weekend, though, the West Coast Weekend VODs are now up at youtube.com slash gamesdonequick. Check out any runs that you missed and tweet at us, gamesdonequick, with what you enjoyed the most. And if you are watching this on YouTube from the future and would like to support our live content, please consider checking out our Twitch channel here at twitch.tv slash gdq. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe to any Twitch channel of your choice every month for free. Please consider using your Prime Gaming account to support the weekly GDQ Hotfix content. Uh, with all of our new Hotfix shows, you can head to gamestonequick.com slash hotfix to find out more and submit your runs. Uh, and with that, <laughs> announcements uh, all ready to go. Our, all the announcements are finished and we are ready to go. Joining me right now is Switchmaster64 and tonight's commentator, Jeff Compass. Welcome to the Hotfix, both of you. Tell us about the plan. Thanks, uh, Smith. <laughs> um, uh, thanks for the intro. Uh, mm -hmm. So. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Switch, um, joined by Jeff here. Hello, everyone. Uh, what's up? Uh, yeah. Glad <laughs> uh, to be here. Thank you for the announcements. For yes. sure. <laughs> so, so tonight we're going to be running 120 Shines in Mario Sunshine. Uh, this is the uh, essentially the 100% category. Um, and I think uh, we're going to get all the Shine Sprites. We're going to have a good time. Uh, so I think, are we all ready to start? Absolutely, you can uh, give us the countdown. Awesome, okay. So, uh, all right. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, go. So, uh, right off the bat, you'll see that I'm actually skipping the intro cutscenes. Uh, we, we don't have to watch the airplane cutscene. And we're gonna grab Flood here uh, and skip over his text actually and just, just, uh, just like magic. And the reason we can do this is we're using a uh, a sort of modified file. And it's good for marathons and uh, speedruns in general because it allows us to skip the intro cutscenes, which take take almost six minutes. So it's six minutes of waiting around and recently it was approved uh, to skip them. So now we don't now we don't do them anymore. So we'll get right into the action basically. Um, uh, yeah, I think Jeff, you wanna explain a little bit about how how this run, how this route works? Yeah, so 120 is a very versatile category. Um, recently, and I'm talking within the past year, there has been a lot of new developments with the route. Uh, it's very different from the first sub three route uh, we saw from Average Tray back in 20, 2018 or 2019, I believe. Um, basically, in this route, Yoshi is cut out almost completely in Delfino. Um, leading to some skips later on, we'll be seeing um, changing the plaza movement almost entirely. Uh, th it's just a very different route than what has previously been shown. Um, some of you may have seen it from previous races. So 120 is very versatile, lots of different tricks. Um, we're getting our first blue coin here. That's the meat and bones of, uh, of 120, of course. Uh, yeah, first blue coin, pretty excited about it. <laughs> and uh, yeah. you, as you can see, Switch did not activate any text box. Um, as that cutscene fades out, if you jump into that blue, uh, you don't get a text box. Saves half a second. So there's a yeah, few so, though. Yeah, there's you'll you'll see that later as well. Um, this was this run was done uh, at this latest at this last uh, uh, SGDQ actually SGDQ 2020. It was yep. done by SB and uh, Paper Mario, and uh, they did a great job, but. Since then, the world record has actually dropped by 
uh, has, has actually been beaten and will probably continue to be beaten. This category is is crazy with how many, with how quickly it's optimized and how many things are found uh, and how much how much the route is updated. Like, uh, so my PB right now is a 259.21. This would have been like third or fourth place a year ago and now it's eight. So it's really exciting to see this category being pushed. Um, yeah, uh, current world record is a 256.20 and um, Nindide is the world record holder and he can easily push this category down to 253 potentially. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's insane how this category has become optimized and at the same time is still a bit unoptimized to this very day. Uh, yeah, so, so yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, already with the run, there's there's been a lot going on that I haven't really had time to explain. Yeah. So for, for those of you who are new to this category, um, there's uh, this is 120 shines. There are 96 physical shines that you get from from completing like levels and little things around Delfino Plaza. There's 240 blue coins. Uh, blue coins can be found in these M's. M graffiti, they can be found hanging around by spraying different things. So we grab 240 of them and we trade them in for 10 blue coins a shine later on. And that adds up to 120 shines. So yeah. there's a lot that goes into the routing for this for this category. Essentially, if you've seen the any percent run, the first half of the run is basically like that. We want to uh, beat all the Shadow Myers in all the levels, and Shadow Myers episode seven. So we go around each level, get to episode seven while getting a few blue coins along the way, and uh, so that'll unlock Corona Mountain. And then we get the blue coins there and exit, and then all the. Uh, the little cutscenes between levels are gone. So th that saves time. So basically the first half of the run's a lot like any percent, and then we go and get the shines that any percent wouldn't have gotten. Um, yeah, after and it, it, it's, it's like that because of the event cutscenes in this game. Um, the second you unlock Corona, every shine after, you won't get any event, cut, event cutscenes. Um, each one's about three seconds, and you can imagine that adds up fairly quickly. Um, so that's why 120 in the first half is very, very similar to an any percent run. Um, there are a few extra shines you will get, but for the most part, it's structured very close. As Switch finishes up, the first shine in Bianco. Yeah, not a bad start. Um, yeah. So, so uh, there's um, there's a lot to learn about this category, and I feel like I should bring this up at some point. Um, I, I I will mention that I am actually in the middle of working on a, a tutorial for this game. So if anyone here who's interested, who's interested in learning this category, um, it's a great category. And I, I uh, you know, there's there's some some very good resources out there. And I'm working on a, a tutorial myself, which should be out, which I'm really excited, which, which why I'm really excited to, uh, to show this off, because I've, I've been in the mood of teaching, <laughs> explaining yeah. stuff, and it's pretty fun. So Switch is entering his the first secret shine of the game. Um, in these secret shines, Aryu does not get flood, so no hover, uh, no spray nozzle. Uh, this one is not too hard, it's pretty easy, but they are later in the run, some of the hardest levels in the game. Uh, it is it is very different than most of the levels, it's more of a platforming similar to Mario 64, right here. I'm talking down because now if I die, I look like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the secret levels are are definitely difficult. Um, the, but you know, a lot of 120 shine, like a lot of what makes it fast or slow is 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 the you know the shines unique to this. And you know, when we go back and get the red coin shines, the game gives us the hover, and we can you know that's where the interesting stuff happens. Yeah, in this run, I believe. All right, so right here we're gonna similar to the any percent route, we're gonna. Uh, grab this polluted piranha who's covering up Rico. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna kill him. Uh, but while we do, we're gonna grab uh, blue coin over here. Yeah, so and then getting this blue coin here, it loses no time to get this blue right here. Almost get besides back. the get back in time spot. and uh, spray him in time, and you'll lose no time. Yeah. So Switch is setting up travel skip here. Um, if you unlock Rico and go back to Bianco in this five-second downtime, 
we <laughs> skip the movement, like essentially, because that downtime where Mario is standing there it looks really weird. Um, that, that downtime is essentially wasted time, but if you go back into Bianco there, it saves a lot of time. Um, it's a staple of pretty much any category in this game. Really cool graphical glitch that people are always amazed, amazed by when they, when they you know, watch for the yeah. first time. You might think something's wrong looking at it at first, but it's... it's something it's, is very wrong in the game. <laughs> the game yeah, is in the game. Out. <laughs> like, the, just, the, the code is, is, is not having a good time. Okay, so I will say, uh, I'm wearing a Mario hat right now, uh, but I do have a Waluigi hat, so if you guys want, I can maybe switch to the Waluigi hat later on. Oh, shoot. Personally, Waluigi Hat is my favorite. So, yeah, I don't know. Waluigi, he's just so cool. He's just, he's just so cool. He's a, he's a good guy. Um, but him, Luigi, and Wario are all not in this game. What? I thought you could unlock Waluigi. Oh my god. I don't know. That, that's Mario 64 DS. Yeah, I, I loved unlocking Waluigi back in that game. So, I do... The beginning of this game is mostly the same, but there are a few levels here and there where that are completely, completely like different from any percent. So much more interesting. So uh, this level is PD's return, and um, basically you'll you'll see we, we travel up here, and we're gonna we're gonna hit him with water, and he's gonna go down go down a he's gonna fly up, and we need to spray him on his uh, depending on where his path is, which is complete luck. Um, yeah, and in any percent, your how good the split is is just based on luck. But while we wait for him to choose his paths, we can grab some blue coins, and that's where this gets interesting. That's that's the that's where the uh, you know the main reason why this run is so interesting, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm yeah. getting a link here. Um, there's a little cutscene, but that actually PD is still flying during that little cutscene, so that's why it's an optimal timing to get a linked pair during while he's flying over. Yes, good point. And yeah, so, this is just RNG, but it matters a lot less in this category than it does in any percent. We can't hit him while he's... We can only hit him at certain spots. Uh, we can't hit him while he's flying between the spots, so we use that time to to grab some blue coins. So we're going to go up here, grab this book on the hill, and turn around. He just takes forever. Yeah, so... Some patterns, it's pretty basic, it's pretty laid out um, if you run the game, but you know what he's going to do. But some there's some patterns where uh, you, you'll have no clue, but this is actually a pretty good pattern, pretty standard pattern, um, really good for 120, actually. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. So Switch is going to be able to get all the blue coins in the village, uh, uh, besides one, the door blue coin. And this will come into play oh, later in the run. Oh, uh, yeah, during... Sure. Yeah, and Bianco hundreds later in the run, if you don't get blue coins here, that's when you gotta pick them up. So, it, it saves time, obviously. I don't know you. Mm -hmm. And you, you, there's there's some blue coins where you might be like, yo, why don't you get that now? It's it's right there. What are you doing? Yeah. Idiot. But uh, it's it's in those cases that you'll see it's faster to get them later. Um, actually, I don't know if I can get the uh, M. I probably can't, yeah. I, no, I definitely couldn't have gotten the M there, so we're going to leave that M, and there's another blue coin in the alcove for later. And the M's are not too bad to get. Um, you should really want to go for the ones that Switch went for, the high up one, the river. Uh, those just are the ones that lose the most time, whereas the M's you can easily uh, clean up during hundreds. What did people, did they want Waluigi hat? I'll put on the Waluigi hat. I did not see anyone say... I think a lot of people were down for the Waluigi hat. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think you should do it. I think you should do it too. I think you should do it too. You don't need to tell me twice. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. All right. So we are, our Switch is taking care of the last polluted prana of the run. He's going to be setting up. I'll let him explain this. I don't want to take up all the oxygen, oh. but. Right, right, right away, we're going to spray this. I'm spraying this, uh, the beach shine. And we're going to grab the beach shine similar fashion to we did travel skip earlier. 
gra grab the beast shine uh, while we kill him. And it's tough, so I do need it to be quiet, I guess. Yeah. Oops, I messed up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try again. So, we'll grab the shine, and Mario will teleport over there, and the sh he, he won't even hold up the shine. He's too focused on, on the thing coming up out of the ground, and that thing is gelato. So, uh, by killing that guy and grabbing the shine, we can unlock gelato and save about 20 seconds. Though I did mess up at the beginning a little bit, but it's... it's yeah, and, and that trick, um, beat shine, it, it does have the possibility of a soft lock if you're too slow getting over, but... Most of the time, you're not going to stop lock. Um, Switch, of course, is a 120 runner. Lots of top 120 runners know the window, and it's usually easy to tell if you're going to stop lock. But um, most of the time, you're. I feel like I have to do a wah now. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do it. Uh, wait, hold up. After this level, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> this is this is a hard level. So so um, it, it's. It's a little, it's just a little bit tricky because, so here we're actually gonna do gelato skip, which we might not, you might not think we do in 120 shines, it just skips levels. Uh, but again, we want to get all the Shadow Mars quickest, so we're gonna do gelato skip while we get this, get a few blue points here. Which does make it a little bit trickier. Yeah, uh, it's just to get the event cutscenes out of the way like we were talking about earlier. Also, it is one of the harder tricks um, in the run to kind of get out of the way, so it is a little bit nice. And we don't have to do the Watermelon Festival this way, so... Yeah, uh, this is, believe it or not, way easier than bringing the Watermelon over. Yeah, uh, I hate it. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll, uh... Wah! <laughs> <laughs> Very well done. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't get any, like... I've done that so many times, just, like, on stream. It does not get... It, it gets more fun, I gotta say. I don't, I don't know. But does it I don't get know the if applause? I can get it. Can we get some uh, claps in the chat for Twitch Master on that one? Modern. I, I like to think that I get better at that every time I do it. So, but probably not. So this is the first Shadow Mario shine of the run. Um, there are seven of these. You just have to spray them with water, and what Switch did was a quick kill by having so much water close to him in one spray, it you can make him go down where he did. Um, there's 10 second downtime, which Switch uses to get a blue coin. There's a few Shadow Marios uh, that are like that. Yes. So it's, it's, it can be like, might be like, it, it can be sometimes like, how do you, you know, get Shadow Mario that quickly? I spend hours chasing after him and I spray him for years and he doesn't go down. But spam sprays are very effective at, at clearing a lot of, uh, you know, area in this game or, or, or just a lot of volume of spray, and if you go close enough to Shadow Mario, you can get a lot of water into him at a time, which is, which uh, kills him pretty, pretty much instantly. Yeah. Indeed. I will say some um, levels in this game are, some levels are more fun than others, and we will re we will go back to Gelato Beach. It was very short. It was only two levels, but we will revisit that later. Oh, uh, we'll be back. We'll, we will be. Back. Yeah, we have to get all the shines, and yeah, it's. I I said I said some levels are more fun than others because Pianta, this level I do like this level, but Gelato is is not great in this category. But we don't have to worry about that for like another hour. Yep, and this level is a bit of RNG. Switch got okay RNG. Second Chomp was in a bit of a weird, weird position. Yeah, I I bonked, so it was my fault. Okay, uh, but. <laughs> I can pretend like I got bad luck, so. Yeah, we can blame it on RNG. This game does have a lot of RNG, which we'll, we will, I'm sure we'll talk about. Right. So fairly, one's actual, one big RNG spot is actually coming up in just a few episodes. It, it's definitely, it's definitely pretty impacting in any percent. 120 shines, there's, there's a lot as well. Like there's, there's a good amount. It's, yeah. especially near the end, there's one part of that. Can be can be really debilitating. Luckily, this category is mostly about about execution. So, 
Uh, this level is Piantissimo, and this is an easy race. Uh, unlike Mario 64 with the Koopa, he doesn't go faster if you finish the race, so it doesn't matter if you, when we finish the race, as long as uh, we beat him and don't die. So I'm going to grab the blue coins here. Yep, it's just one of those things that this game we've been focusing on that is during the downtime, you just do as much as you possibly can. Um, it's just a similar theme in any speed game, really, but in 120 shines, it matters a lot more because of the blue coins. Yeah, it's it's just really about, this category is really all about kind of, you know, maximizing the time you have between cycles or, you know, things like that. And there's so much, there's so much like, as you get better, you get more downtime and you get, you know, the ability to do more things uh, quicker and collect more blue coins quicker. And there's so much opportunity for different routes as well. Like in this level coming up, beyond to three, like there's, there's so many different routes to play around with that we've discovered recently. And the route I'm using is like fairly new, but then there's another one discovered and then I can't keep up and it's all stressful. So <laughs> don't run this category if you don't, if, if, uh, just, no, uh, yeah, don't run it if you, it's hard to like keep up is what I'm saying, but yeah, that's what keeps it entertaining. Absolutely. Switch, did it take you a long time to learn this category? I, you know, it's hard to remember because I, I don't really remember when I learned it exactly. I think it took, I think learning it for real took a while. Yeah, I, that's like what I remember the most is how long it took to learn. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Because there was, it was like, there's just so much to do and so much like movement to get down. Um, but it, it was really worth it because I, I got to know so much more about the game than I knew before and this. It was definitely worth the, the time time it took to learn it. Nice. So Switch is picking up a few episode-specific blue coins, which is one of the more interesting parts of this game. That M Switch just sprayed doesn't show up in other episodes. Um, so if you miss a blue coin, it can be fairly punishing. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the probably one of the biggest criticisms within this game, and what prevented a lot of people probably from 100%ing this. So. We'll be pointing those out. Um, the game goes on if it's necessary. Yeah, it's it would be nice if they gave an, more of an indication about which which levels had had which blue coins because it seems like random. Like, why is that M not there all the time? The platform yeah. the whole time. It makes it makes zero sense. Like, not like it's a hard blue. It's an obvious blue coin, you know. But still, it's that. Okay, what I do find interesting. So uh, this, you know, this. Um, this world is one of my favorites. One of the reasons is, right, Piante is my favorite uh, world in the game. Um, and one of the, my one of the reasons for that is is this night and day concept that they implemented. You'll see that the level we just played was, you know, it was dark. Piante one was dark, and then two was during the day, and it kind of alternates like that. Um, and I think that's a really cool concept, but it made for a lot of episode specific blue coins because pretty much. They're split up into night blue coins and day blue. Like, there's a lot of blue coins that only show up at night. Um, oh, whoops, I missed this up. Uh, I do still like, I, I still really love the concept though. This is one of the, the times where Sunshine really had this cool, innovative idea. And, you know, it's not spread too thin. I think it works really well in this level. Yeah. So that uh, begs the question are, are you uh, a night owl or a day walker? <laughs> Well, uh, I gotta say, it's, I don't know, I'm kind of in between. In I, between, fair. Yeah. What about it's, you, chat? <laughs> should have asked Jeff. <laughs> Jeff has... Uh, <laughs> I am, I will be up at the worst hours, but s recently my sleep schedule is not, not too bad. I'm, not I'm too up at pretty bad. decent hours nowadays. All right, all right. Um, but speaking of night levels, here is one that every 80% runner hates. Uh, this is one of the biggest RNG levels in the game. Um, we'll, we'll talk about it as Switch gets inside the secret. Um, a little bit more visual. All the most interesting things in life happen at night. Like, pulling it all night to do uh, homework. <laughs> So these Piantas are on cycles. 
Um, the final one, if, to put it simply, if he's in a certain position, it saves 20 seconds. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll know if so we can consider that. Um, matters a lot more than any percent. Oh, wow. No, don't mess it up. <laughs> uh, it's fine, I think. And that is early cycle. He can be on the opposite side. Woo! Let's go. All right. Okay. All right. 20 seconds. RNG has actually been really nice to you this run. You got a pretty good PD. Um, good. Shut you up. got Ramel. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Don't say any more. <laughs> I, I, it's is called a uh, Ramel based off of a, a splicer who, who spliced that trick in. On that. So, so we the uh, if you if you if he's not slow enough, he has to go all the way around the platform, and you got you got you, you, know, you have to wait for him, uh, but. He was very slow there, and I made it. Though it, it can be like, he can be kind of in between, and you're like, do I go for it? Um, yeah. You know, it's it can be rough, because then you go for it, and you kind of regret your, your life choices a little bit, but you get over it. Okay, so this is one of my, this is one of the cooler levels in the game, actually. Um, and one of the most kind of just famous of the speedrun levels. You might have seen a Trey's video on Pianta 6. Um, world record history of uh, this level, Pianta's in need, and it's very, it's very, you know, competitive, competitive uh, IL individual level speed run. But here it's a little bit different in 120 because we have to get the blue coins from all the Piantas, talk to them, and we're gonna get a few of an IL. Yeah, there's just a lot of waiting around in in this, but I still, want, I still uh, like the movement. Oh yeah, I think this is a really, there's lots of 120 um, ILs, which is kind of a new uh, thing on the like Mario Sunshine spreadsheets, and they're really underrated. They're actually a lot of fun. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. And this level's pretty much entirely different for any percent. Like, there's a few things that are similar, but it's still a really interesting level. Um, these Piantas, though, if you miss one, miss talking to one, it is pretty rough. Uh, these are exclusive to this level. Mm -hmm. Can't get a better one. One fifty four is good. One fifty four is a really solid time. Yeah, I believe the world record is like two minutes, but it's today. I can't imagine two minutes. <laughs> it's crazy. I actually don't know where he saved that much time. That's like yeah, one fifty four like, on the cut. Like so many, so many levels where I'm like, how, how do you get that that easily? Like. You get that time that easily. It's crazy. It's 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 nice because I'm like, wow, I have so much to learn and so much room to improve. It's very eye-opening looking at watching better players. Getting that M during the shine saves another text box, like we were talking about at the start of the run. Um, those half seconds add up. Um, Switch also, I don't know how many of you caught it when he did when he talked to the two Piantas. Um, he collected both blue coins on the same. Uh, same time, so uh, you can save a second there. I know it's amazing with uh, blue coin text boxes alone. So much, so much time saved. It is, it is cool though. Yeah, you got a, you got two, uh, two blue coin text box uh, skips in that one level, which is really nice. So during this town uh, downtime, Switch is going to go to get probably the like one of the most far out blue coins in the entire run. Uh, it still loses about 10 seconds to get it, but um, like as opposed to just doing Shadow Mario. But there's nowhere really else to get this blue run. So uh, it's just about like I said, really maximizing that time. So now that Pianta uh, Pianta's done and. We can move on to uh, Pion Pion's for now. We'll come back to it, but we'll move. We're moving on to Pinna now, and I'm about to attempt a trick known as Jelly Skip slash Honey, or not slash, but End Honey Skip. So I'll explain that after I do it. Honey Skip's a bad trick. <laughs> I wish we didn't have to do this trick. Okay, so got it. So what just happened was. Uh, you see, I grabbed a blue coin um, while hovering into the building, dropped out, uh, ground pounded, and I. if you spend too much time on the out-of-bounds portion, you will die. And so I did a, a kind of precise 
a side step thing there to die on the same frame as I activated the Pinna cutscene, which skipped it. So there's a lot that went on right there, and uh, it's called Jelly Skip, the blue grabbing the blue coin early because you can um, normally to get that blue coin you have to spray the jelly with Yoshi, and we'll actually do another Jelly Skip later um, in the run to skip because there's two Jelly Blue coins in Delfino, so we'll do a much harder one later, which is yeah. very scary part of the run. Uh, honey Skip does save about 15 seconds. Uh, normally, there is a cutscene there, as which was saying you have to watch and. Obviously, that's slow, and... Yeah. Also, I did just realize that Phelan's wondering we're playing in Japanese because um, load times are faster, so it saves a lot of time. Yeah. Text is actually longer in Japanese, but the load times, um, each Delfino Plaza load is about a tenth of a second faster, I believe, a quote me on that. Um, so we have Mecha here. Uh, four hits on Mecha Bowser in order to... You get it really clean mecha. It's looking gorgeous. Really <laughs> that was a gorgeous um, one. Switch exits area. If you so there were two exit areas there. I don't know if either of you got it. So, so much stuff slips my mind. It's like crazy. <laughs> There's so much to talk about in this game. If you don't exit area in time, you the second cutscene there. It's about three minutes. It's really bad. So it's very rare when I'll mess it up, especially when you play Switch, but why we exit area on the fade outs there just so we don't have to watch it yeah it cut scenes. skips these long cutscenes, which is which is really nice i i will say this this category is i love the pacing because it's pretty much like there are a good amount of cutscenes. you know after you get a shine you have to come back but i love the pacing there isn't that much downtime um so so coming up here is actually pin at two and normally this level is easy um, but there, there are a lot of these boxes strewn about the, um, the beach, and uh, you need to guide bullet bills to each of them to get a blue coin. And for one of them, you need like a purple bullet bill, and they don't always cooperate. So purple bullet bills will follow you, uh, but there's like a, you know, they're less likely than black bullet bills, so. It could be a struggle to get one. Hopefully this one survives. Oh, it didn't. Okay. So now I have to wait for a purple. Yeah, uh, this is... One comes. Mainly RNG. There is a decent amount of execution. But it's mainly RNG, whether or not you're going to get the purple. Uh, for some reason, this spot that Switch is standing in right now, it... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's been, like, like looked into, but I swear you never get purples in this spot. Okay, so when Jeff said I was getting good RNG earlier, the, yeah, this is this is what. Yeah, let's uh, let's, let's cut that off the record. Uh, uh, okay, okay, there it is. Thank you. I was yeah, gonna sure waste it. Unfortunately, very unlucky. Get like four extras there. There's a there's actually a strat that you can you can hit that without a purple, but. It's not consistent enough for me to go for it. It's um, pretty precise. It's fairly new as well, so a lot of runners are just not like super consistent at it yet. Um, switch going through the mole there to the next secret. That's called mole skip. Pretty easy skip, but if you don't do that, you have to kill the mole with the bombs. It's about 15 seconds like that. So you speed run. 120 shines as well, Jeff. Yeah. Do you do you like this category more than more than any percent? Uh, I go back and forth. I do enjoy this category a lot. It is a big commitment. Three hour runs. If a run dies, you know, two hours in, it's pretty rough um, in terms of your time. You may not have time to start another run, which is why, for the most part, I do think 120 is a better category. But I like any percent better because I can. Mm, I see. I I think if you have 120 is cool. Yeah, longer categories are really fun if you have the time to grind them. Like if you have if you have enough time to do multiple runs, they're so much more fun. You can do them for longer. Yeah, I think objectively 120 is a better category for me, but I just I don't know. It's it's a long category and it can be kind of exhausting and perhaps still bring up focus. Yeah, it's and you have to spend so much time like in you know in the end game. The end game is so long. 
So, but uh, yeah, I, yeah, I do love this guy. All right, so this is our first red coin hidden shine of the run. So yeah. this is a se the secret we just did, and we get a hover nozzle. Ah, it's annoying. I thought I had that. Yeah, this is a cycle-based level. Um, so Switch missing that red does mean he's going to have to take a second optimal cycle, which isn't the biggest deal. It's about six second time loss. Yeah, um, it's, it's, I'll still be fine with that. It's 42 you might be wondering why we haven't, why we haven't done a you know, hidden red coin shine because we did other secret shines. It's the order of which we do um, kind of the, the levels here is based on how much time we lose to event cutscenes right now. As you'll see, there was no event cutscene there. There was no cutscene that showed the you know showed around Delfino Plaza um, in this part of Pinna, which is why we can do that shine later on. If we did that, we'd have to scroll all the way back from Pinna Eight, so that would yeah. lose a bit of time. So it's actually yeah, it's optimal to do it there. Um, and that's kind of an interesting thing with the one twenty. I don't see people talk about a lot. Is pretty much any extra shine in this game you can do at any point. Um, you just lose three seconds. So Bianco eight later in the run. So let's say you want to do it after Bianco seven. You can, and it only loses three seconds. Like that's a big stressor for you. So it's pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, I don't see a lot of people talking about the kind of versatility of 120 routing. Like I'll throw in some levels at a risk of you know, three seconds. Mm -hmm. So this is a uh, one of the kind of, kind of more fun levels. I got this is a really fun level where you just gonna navigate the boats, grab the red coins and some blue coins along the way. There's a lot of routes in Pinna. I don't think I used the, the fastest route here. You can get a lot of these blue coins in other levels, but um, it's not that much of a time loss. I guess I do love. I think I think Pinna. I don't know. I'm, every time I play Pinna, it's just like I kind of realize how how difficult but like fun it is especially in 120 i love this level in 120. Oh, yeah 80 percent this is like known for being the place where runs die maybe. like it's, it's a really hard world in, in uh, 120 it's still challenging but nice time um which is pin of three through six uh there's a different order optimally you get blues now um but what switch does is completely fine it doesn't lose that much time Yeah, there's there's some levels that are that are definitely you know definitely more fun than others in the, in the one twenty one. I think I think there's like I think pretty much every level in a second half is at least interesting. Past gelato, every level is at least interesting. Um, yeah. In one twenty, which is why the which is why like I like the ending so much um, because the ending is where the interesting stuff is, and that's where you have the most like you know, room for time save. It's not- oh yeah. gosh, this is bad. So Switch is trying to get as many as he can after after killing the first uh, enemy here. Uh, Snooze Koopas, I believe their names are. Um, if you kill them all within succession, oh, as God. Switch did not do, uh, <laughs> you... Uh, each time you don't um, get them in succession, it's about 10 seconds. So this is, this is looking like it's going to be a two cycle here. That was that um, was cringe. <laughs> that was a little. I, that was such a, little, a weird mistake. Thing. I just I just held the wrong direction. I'm just holding. <laughs> I'm bad. Ah uh, no, no, it's a hard level. I mean, this level is deceivingly difficult. What, what's your right. favorite world in uh in this game? This run, uh, the 120. Sure. I actually really like Bianco. I, I like, I like, I really like Bianco in 120. Um, I enjoy Serena in 120 as well. Like late Serena. Um, the first half is filled with RNG, which we'll see later. Um, I like a lot of worlds in this game. If you're talking any percent, my favorite's probably Pianta. Actually, Pianta and Rico. Yeah. Um, how about you? So what are your I don't know. Cern is not bad. Uh, actually, Cern is Cern is really cool. Uh, in 120, uh, it's, it's it's tough to decide. I I, th I think I still got to go with Pianta though. I, yeah, Pianta is a super nice world, good aesthetic, and good just. It's I just love nice Pianta eight. No, okay. what is that? Okay, I don't know what's happening. This is a bad. This is bad. 
This, this um, kind of uh, is bad. Okay, so normally you're supposed to you're supposed to um, jump off of that pirate ship, but Mario slipped off. He 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 wore his Crocs. What are you doing? You really yeah. can't wear better <laughs> shoes. That boat strat though only saves about a half second, or maybe it's a second. Uh, off as of to... wall kicking. Uh, if you do the so the movement you do for pin at eight, where you um you basically just jump over the tree. Oh, it's actually that's actually much slower. I didn't know that. It's one of those things in this game where there it's it's fairly optimized when it comes to certain ILs and levels. I thought it saved a lot of time. That's why it did in the first place. That's, that's why I let it. Um, getting another linked pair, as we can see here. Uh, no place you can really get the links here and mitigate, you know, the time from the cutscene. So just gotta stomach them as she did. Oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> this level. Yeah, normally you're actually just, you're supposed to go from the back of the, the amusement park and go up the Ferris wheel and climb. It's actually a bingo. Shout out to my uh, everyone in bingo. Uh, it's, it's actually a bingo level where you have to go from the back cover list, and it's, it's actually fairly hard to possibly. Yeah, bingo in SMS is pretty... It's a pretty cool... Um, yeah. Jeff is an avid bingoer, and yeah. he, uh, I tried it. I didn't love it, but there's, uh, there's a lot of people, and the community is like, for bingo is... Is, is always super active and there's tournaments yeah, a lot. Yeah, it, it's, it's awesome, man. So I've, I've enjoyed watching from the sidelines. I'm not, I'm not very good at bingo anymore. Not, oh, not anymore, but... Uh, me know. neither. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're better than me, at least, Jeff. Uh, all right. Just take a compliment. I, I don't have much right. left in no, you're, no, you're, you are right, though. You are right. So during that cutscene, I saw what Yoshi, what fruit Yoshi wanted. He wants banana, which is, which is nice and convenient for us. So this this level, um, before we enter the Yoshi ground, we're gonna grab some blue coins and this bird, who hopefully is here. He is awesome. Sometimes that bird's not there, and there's really no good way to, no good way to recover that without getting him later. You'll see Switch is eating the pineapple there. Um... Or we're going to be taking Yoshi. Yoshi needs to be orange. If he's not orange, you cannot enter the secret level. Um, so pineapples and papayas in this game are the two fruits that will make you orange. Um, there are kind of interesting. It is funny how people, some people think like they're like you have to eat a papaya. I remember having a conversation with someone. They're like, no, you have to eat papaya. I'm like, no, pineapple will make you orange. Yoshi's like, yeah. and they're like, no. And I'm like, look at Yoshi right now, he's orange. He's like, no, it's a different shade of orange. <laughs> no, oh it's orange. <laughs> yeah, there's not too many instances. In oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no, I, I, just speaking of papaya, I don't actually really like papaya. Does anyone? <laughs> like I don't think I've had it. I don't think I've had it. I don't know. Okay, I will say, I don't think I've had normal papaya, but dried papaya is amazing. I don't know if you've had that. Oh, actually, yeah, dried papaya is good. The fresh one, I don't know. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know if I've ever had it. I, th I think it's hard to dislike, you know, dried fruit of any kind. That's fair. The fruits in this game are weird. Like, you normally think fruits, you think like apples, grapes. And this game has like durian, peppers. It's like, it's just a weird. This game is it like, funny. Oh, like, you know, there's a lot of fruits, grapes, and like all that stuff. You know, maybe it, they're all round and it gets boring. But they could have chosen an apple instead of a durian. Would have made so much more sense as like a soccer ball or like. You know, uh, <laughs> why can't you kick around a coconut? It's nice. <laughs> yeah, this game is like kind of fun and kind of tropical, so I guess I can understand some of the more exotic fruits. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. They really they really ran with the tropical theme, which uh, some people like. You that's know, like I'm one okay. thing that I just like about Super Mario Sunshine in general. Like it's so fun being at the beach and like going to the amusement park and it's just cool. Yeah, it's that, really that's nice why it's like my favorite Mario game. Yeah, like good aesthetics. Yeah, playing play during the winter when it's it's like the opposite, like, you know, right now it's just like living out the life I wish I could live. <laughs> <laughs> this is like everyone's uh, retirement yeah. plan. <laughs> We're just exactly. going to the <laughs> Delfino. All right, so I'm going to lead Shadow Mario to the right and hopefully get a quick kill right here. Awesome. So, so that's a pretty precise kill. 
You need two two spam sprays to kill him in Pinna. And he's he's dead. There you go. Yeah, makes getting this blue um pretty nice. Minimizes the the wasted time by just standing around here. Uh that's a fairly new strat, I believe. That that quick I don't, deal. I don't remember when it was implemented, but yeah, it's I haven't used it for that long and I haven't seen it for that yeah. long. There's actually a faster thing that people do, I believe, which is kind of neat as well. So what Switch did right here, um, this is the first instance of a actually pretty new strat in this game, uh, relatively. It's called Beyblading, where you, or um, what's what's the other, what's the official? Uh, I, I forget the official term, but oh, ah, uh, shoot, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, basically, when you do that, you spin the control stick, and you get a lot of momentum. Um, if you time your jump properly. Uh, we're going to be seeing a few of those in the run. It's a pretty neat mechanic of the game that really wasn't utilized much until, I believe, 2019. Um, I believe it was, like, Reed and Trey who kind of brought it to fruition, but I could be wrong on that. Tarantino was when people finally realized, like, how to play the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, you can go fast. And, and now it's used, like, almost everywhere in this game. Yes, Beyblading is actually great in 120 shines. Um, it's, I think there's like, in any percent, you use it in Rico and maybe after Pinna. And so you can use it like three times total. I think maybe, like that's, I, I can't think of anywhere else you'd use it in, in any percent, but um, in 120 shines, you I use it, I use it probably like 10 times, I gotta say. Yeah. In the run. And it's it's not it's not very hard. It replaces nope. a harder. You know, doing that that fast would normally be harder. Very easy. So we're done with Pinna. Uh, uh, we're moving on to Rico, which is a lot more chill. This this level's this level's really chill, and mostly the same as any percent, at least in the first portion that we're doing. Yeah, this is actually like the closest in the entire game where it's going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty similar to any percent. Rico one is going to be a bit different, so it's going to pick up some episode of yeah. blues. Can't get these M's or well, some of the M's you can't get in other episodes. It's the game picks and chooses here. Um, yeah. The one's covered in goo. Yeah, Rico one is 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 very different than the rest of. Yeah. And then Rico 2 from 7 are essentially the same as in percent. I do like um, that. You know, I do the Rico movement I do like, so for the most part, I'm, I'm okay that it's the same. Yeah. Uh, the second half, there is a decent amount of RNG, as we will see, but we're not there yet. Um, also, Besides, so that's interesting in the sense that there is like no RNG in any percent portion of Rico, and this is like one of the few worlds where there's like almost no RNG. Yeah, it's it's very nice. Well, I mean gelato, but um, and yeah, coconut can be a little bit luck based. Rico is very Rico is very nice in that sense. So the red point shine that Switch just got, that is pretty. It's a Delfino shine, um, and it's kind of hidden. It's like in the corner, tucked behind Pinna. Most people growing up did not even know that was there. Kind of funny. Just to answer a, a question there. Thanks, yeah, that, that's that's a little bit... I kind of just did it, but there's a... It's, it's a lot to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a lot to talk about, about with this game. I'm very, like... I, I, I do remember as a kid when I was, it would take for me so long to get 120 shines. I would have, I remember I got like 90, as soon as I got up in the upper 90s of shines, I, I ran out of like shines and blue coins to find. And like every day I'd go back and like find two blue coins in total. It was just so slow going. Cause they hide these levels behind the trees. It's not fair. It's not fair, man. So this is why I, I made it my life goal to do it in less than three hours. As a, as a five year old, I was like, all right. Speedrunning will happen, and I will, I will become decent at it. Not the best. I was realistic. <laughs> it's hard to be the best when there's like today. Yes. So, Switch, you grew up playing Super Mario Sunshine. How do you think? Uh, I guess your feelings for the game uh, when you were young versus speedrunning it now have they changed much, or do you still 
uh, love the game as much as you did when you were a kid? Well, I, you know, I think it's still my favorite game of all time, but there's so much that's terrible with it. Like, <laughs> when I, when I want to judge it and, like, be judgy about the game, I'm, like, not nice to it because there's so much in it that's like, <laughs> man, this is terrible design, you know? It's like, why is this in the game? So, as a kid, I didn't see it. Now I do see it, but I'm still, like, I still have that nostalgia and I'm not, I'm not gonna... It's my, you know, being critical of it isn't gonna, you know, reduce my enjoyment of it because my enjoyment is is for uh, nostalgia and now now for speedrunning. So yeah, and the nostalgia keeps it alive maybe a bit for you. Oh yeah, totally. It's it's it contributes for sure because I I remember my well actually um when I was I I think I think I watched my grandma play this when I was like. To two or five or something like, really <laughs> young. Awesome. So, that, so then I watched it play and uh, then I you know I, when I could play I, I, I finally did so Aww. it's very fun okay so I think this is the fastest shot in the game actually outside oh, of the game. I believe some Shadow Mario quick kills are faster if you do oh, like optimal yeah. tracks like if, I think Noki 7 takes that award Normally you have to kind of enter the shine gate from the top, but if you do a precise jump there, you can, not that precise, but if you do a jump there, uh, then you can grab it from below, and I don't know if the devs did it on purpose, but you beat the level quickly, so it's very so, convenient for us. Every time I've seen a marathon or just anything, um, people are kind of confused why Switch did not pick up that blue coin on the way to Rico 3. Uh, you can pick it up there, it's not like a huge deal, but there are the 100 coin shines in this game. Uh, so it's technically faster to just get that later in the run since there were yellow coins surrounding it. Uh, just it's, it's crazy how many like small routing things like that you wouldn't think about. But yeah, it would be a waste of time, believe it or not, to get that blue on the way to Rico 3. Hey Switch, you missed a blue coin. Hey, you see that? Hey, it was <laughs> yeah. right there. Why didn't you get it? <laughs> you dumb? What are you, what are you doing? So I'm showing Rico 4 here. This is probably one of the harder secrets in the game, but it's not too bad. Just like, just next time say it's like really hard. And so then when I do it, yeah, it'll be you look cooler. There's no way he pulls but, this off. <laughs> this is insanely hard. This is, this is, nobody can do, can do a first try. I'm playing on a Wii. Um, you play on the Wii because the load times are faster. GameCube loads are mm -hmm. really, really slow. Like, yes. stupidly slow. Ooh, I, we, haven't, we haven't talked about All-Stars. That's how quickly that game slipped our minds. Oh, yeah. So there is All-Stars. Um, it, it had a new patch recently. It's fairly similar. I don't know. What are your thoughts on speedrunning All Stars as someone? Switch has world record in uh, in 120 on All Stars. For some reason, I took two weeks speedrun this game on the All Stars version, and I got like a 305, which is I, which is a time I'm okay with. Um, so it has faster load times there, but I had to play on Pro, play on Pro Controller because I did this before the patch, and it was like so, and with inverted camera as well, and you couldn't change that. It was so difficult to switch. To it and switch back. It takes you like four days to adjust to it. So yeah, it was really, it was an experience, and um, you know, it was it was pretty fun though. I did enjoy something new. It was a little bit of something new, and I tried to go back to it when it did the patch because uh, it made you, it allowed you to invert the camera back to the way Sunshine's is, and um, as well as. Uh, put, use GameCube controller, but I don't know if my adapter's bad, but the movement just didn't seem that good, so I quit like after one round. <laughs> uh, it, but I still I still enjoyed my time. Also, you'll see what we did right there in the blooper fight we did earlier, uh, which, you know, we pull off his nose right away, and if you use the right timing, he won't uh, hit you. You don't have to take off all the tentacles, so it's much faster. Yeah, so 3D All-Stars is more or less an emulated. It's very similar to like an emulator version of SMS. Yeah, um, it's not really much different. Pretty much the, the loads same. are really fast. There's actually a few glitches, such as Serena 6, um, where you can basically just finish a shine by entering it, um, that are actually the same as if you played it on Dolphin. So it is, it's really interesting for, uh, for that regard. It's... Like, it's, it's just a weird game, honestly. 
Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of weird. So here's the blooper, blooper. Uh, wait, what's the red coins on? Oh shoot, I missed. Okay. Um, I have no idea how to recover that. Do you know how to how to recover that? <laughs> I am. Yeah, you just get that at the end. Uh, that's so annoying. You just kind of have to swerve at the end. Uh, yeah, this is a fairly not super difficult level, but it is annoying. Um, which is actually using the C stick mainly, believe it or not, to control the blooper here. Uh, it's a little more precise than if you were to use just the control stick. This is the the blooper ride of shame when I have to go slow here so I don't crash into the boats. And as you can see, there were uh, yellow and purple blooper, uh, bloopers as well, and that's not just cosmetic. Um, the yellow and purple bloopers are faster, but they are a lot harder to control. And green, if you sense you're about to die, you can hold neutral and you actually won't die. So all runners, or most runners do green. Green blooper there. Um, I love green. He's yeah. nice. Very nice to me. So we're almost done with Rico. Rico 7 is, is pretty normal, except we're going to grab a, a spider um, during the while waiting for Shadow of Mario. I think every... I think of Shadow Mars where you don't grab a blue coin, Bianco maybe? Noki? Uh, and Bianco Noki. and Noki, yeah. Might be the only two. Um, you can make it back in time, grab the shine, awesome. Sometimes the spider doesn't cooperate, I'm glad he did there, that's good. Good, oh, I guess there is actually RNG in Rico, I, I, I should have uh, kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Not in any percent, in, uh, in 120 you also have Rico yeah. 100 the crane, so. Um, the crane is very annoying, but well, you'll you, you'll see that later. <laughs> we'll get yeah, we'll, into it. We will get there. Um, okay, so moving on to finish. We're not finishing up Bianco completely, but we're doing Bianco six and seven, uh, just like just like the any percent route. Um, we abandoned them earlier to unlock Gelato, which you didn't really mention, but. Now we're, now we're getting them again. And yeah, you do Bianco in three stages in this run. Yeah. Second, it's going to be a pretty short visit. Just going to get two shines here. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't <laughs> spend too long on this shine. <laughs> Die. Ah, this shine isn't... Uh... I won't jinx you. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> shine isn't too bad, says Jeff, right before I lose. Two minutes. This this shine is very cycle based though. Yeah, but it's very easy to adapt. If you can tell you're off cycle, you just kind of take it slow at the top, and you'll. Um, but you definitely don't want to. You don't want to fall behind on the way there. Right. Um, and this cube is a slow, slow ride all the way to the top. Yeah, it's it's uh. Well, while we are headed to the top, I just want to let everyone know that AGDQ 2021 online is coming up soon, and the Yeti has a virtual attendee shirt on sale now at theyeti.com slash AGDQ from now until December 15th. That's about a week left to uh, get your exclusive pre-order shirt uh, that will have a virtual attendee design and will be shipped out prior to the event. So you can have that just in time for AGDQ 2021, January 3rd through the 10th. Uh, and as always, a portion of the proceeds for every shirt sale will be donated to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Uh, and a humble reminder to all of you watching that the GDQ Hotfix is sponsored by viewers like you. So thank you so much for subscribing and making shows like Time Capsule and other Hotfix content possible. And thank you again, uh, Switchmaster and Jeff for being here for the Mario run. It's going great. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thanks, I'm enjoying it. And shirts are nice, so buy them and subscribe. Yes. And Honestly, <laughs> the Yeti shirts are always super nice quality. I love all of them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're awesome. Okay, so Bianca's right. done, luckily, for now. And now on to Serena, which is Jeff's favorite level. So, uh, Serena has has some very it's very fun levels. Um, so we're gonna grab the this Yoshi here, into the left. And this is the only time in the entire run you will see, in this route, um, Yoshi and Delfina. So right. uh, enjoy it, enjoy it while, you, while it lasts. You got a few, uh, Pivotal second period. Like five seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
Say bye, everyone. Okay, well, we're still on him now, so, you know, I didn't dismount, which I could have done, but... He's with us in here. You technically don't even need Yoshi to get into Serena. It's just slow. Like, you can actually clip in with the fruit, but... Do you want to? <laughs> do you want to do bingo and do that? have to do that? No. Don't play bingo. <laughs> you wanted to do that trick. Actually, a really hard trick. Um, Manta here is... It's an interesting level. It's very execution based, but at the same time, there is a lot of luck that goes into it. Heck yeah. Um, but for the most part, it is more execution than a lot of giving credit for. So I'm going to start spraying the Manta, and he's going to divide into smaller parts. As soon as the small parts become um, purplish pink, uh, that means uh, if I spray them again, they'll all die, and or that you know they'll die. So, and they'll they'll start to follow me when I do that. So when I do that, when that happens, I'm gonna go grab this blue coin so they all follow me. Yep, kind of lumps them together, makes it easier after you hits the blue coin, and just kind of. I don't know where this out of the way. Oh my gosh! All right, this is still fine. I hate it. <laughs> the goop is it's it's relentless. It's it's really relentless. It's fine that we're low on health. We can grab. Yeah, there's a lot of coins in the beach. Well, I mean, you're not even gonna. I wouldn't even worry. So. We're okay. We're all good here. Um, see, they're all consolidated in this area. This which got that blue coin. One of the slower blue coins, believe it or not, uh, but there's like not there really anywhere good. I've ever seen. <laughs> no, no, I mean, <laughs> it wasn't uh, bad. No. I've seen worse than that. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very slow blue coin, for sure. Um, like, I've seen people, like, route for category extensions before, and I'll add that blue, and I'm like, no, not a fast blue. <laughs> So now the hotel is up, and uh, all the other levels will take place in the hotel, pretty much. Yeah, besides Serena 6, um, we'll be going inside the hotel. Right. Um, Serena is sort of similar to any percent. Like, Serena 6 is pretty different, but the rest are fairly... This is some of what you can see in any percent. And maybe getting a blue here or there. I have my hand towel, if you're wondering. I wipe my hands on, I got my hand towel, so. Famous Switchmaster 64 hand towel. <laughs> I was actually kind of wondering how many hats you had. <laughs> I have, I actually have Mario, Waluigi, and I have a Luigi one, but that's only for when I PB, so. If this run PBs, they'll say, I'll put it on at the end, sure, whatever. I'll, I'll show you what we need at the end. It's, you know, special occasion anyway, so. But it's usually only for when I PB, because it's like, uncomfortable so I don't want to wear it for a little oh. bit <laughs> but it's something to look forward to <laughs> it signifies it signifies a good run and I actually want I want other hats as well uh, so I, I may I may invest in some other hats do you sport them out around town <laughs> I feel like I've definitely walked with, with my Meyer hat a few times outside. yes nice because that's yeah I um, it's, yeah, you just gotta wrap it, so. <laughs> Alright, good surrender too. Yeah. Any, any the, time you don't die in this secret, it's, it's a good secret. At the momentum spin jump, um, pretty, it's kind of like a high risk, high, uh, low reward thing, although it's very easy to get consistent, so. At the same time, not really, but if you do drop a spin, it is 40 seconds, I believe, for a two second time save, but. Not yeah, that's, that's that's momentum spin jumps are are very helpful in this category and this in this game. Essentially, to explain a bit, if you do a dive rollout onto a slope, Mario will start running really quickly. Uh, you can see that really well, like on a building, and you can just keep running around and you know just at the yeah. speed of sound if you want, and uh, uh. if you will. And, um, <laughs> so, uh. Uh, so if you do a jump. Um, or like a spin jump, then you'll 
you'll keep all that speed. So doing that's called a momentum spin jump. And if you do it, in, you can do it like a quick succession there, uh, off of off of that area, and you'll it'll, it'll basically just look like a, a normal spin jump because you won't see it. Mario start to run around quickly, but that's what's going on. It's 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 crazy when you think about it, how much like has to go right in a run like this, <laughs> you know? Because you have all the secrets and then yeah. you have everything else in one toy shines. It's kind of daunting. It, it is. You can make a lot of mistakes in this run and still have a good time. And, Get a good time. You can have a good time regardless, but you can get <laughs> to get a good time. You can make a lot of mistakes. No, I, like a lot of people, SOB to PB gap is like 10 minutes or something like that. It's usually, you have a lot of time to play around with usually. Right. So Switch just did a banana clip. Um, you release the banana at the height of the jump. You flip through that glass wall. Uh, mm -hmm. Pretty big skip there, actually. Um, I believe if you do it, I guess if you do it with door clips, it's not that slow. But if you don't, if you have to go the normal casual route, I, I don't even. It's, it's like what, 45 seconds? Um, oh, get in the pipe, Mario. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try a. I'm gonna go for a slightly risky jump at the end. All right. Yep. Which is another momentum spin. One jump. One. A little bit more difficult to pull off. Okay. Uh, that wasn't the jump I was talking about. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. it, it happens. I'm still gonna go for it because, uh, yeah, that's 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 unfortunate. That was just me not pressing. That was me pressing A too early, I think. Yeah. Think that works? Okay. At least we made the jump at the end. I. It's a really stupid death right there. Really stupid death, but it's okay. It was quick. I made, I made that mistake. I was on last night, actually. I was on pace to get a PB, and I actually made that like exact same mistake in PR3 reds, and that was really. <laughs> that was not fun. I feel like Mario games, like in particular, have some of the hardest platforming uh, ever. So I, it all looks amazing to me, even when you mess up a little. Mm -hmm. Like that yeah. strat you went for at the end is actually, it's really hard, actually, that strat. Like, fairly hard. I hate but, it. <laughs> I hate it. I don't like it. The, you know, I will say that even like as someone who's played this game, and I've, I've speedrun Mario 64 myself, but like watching high level players do Mario 64 um, is, is still is, is just as impressive as what you know when I watched it back in uh, back before I even started speedrunning. Um, it's even more impressive because I, I know the work that has to go into getting all those jumps consistently um, and stuff like that. So watching oh, watching yeah. how runners of other games is just as impressive to me. So here we got King Boo. This is a very, very RNG-based level. Um, you could get... Uh, theoretically, you could get unlimited amounts of extra cycles here. Uh, but the worst I've seen is 10. But... So it's actually... Um, oh my gosh. So King Boo will... When he throws fruit, you, uh, you, can, you can hit him and you need to hit him three times. Uh, so basically, after every fruit cycle, he needs to give you a non-fruit cycle, but you can cancel it. So every time he gives you a non-fruit cycle, like when he doesn't have to, then that's an extra cycle. And on average, you get like one or two extra cycles, probably, or zero. Um, you know, yep. you do this, when you do this. Perfect RG obviously is zero. Uh, he's cooperating so far. Yep, so far pretty good RNG here. Uh, yeah, it, it could spiral. Like you could be on a really good pace and all of a sudden you just kind of get like six extras and you're like, well, that's rough. Uh, but looks to be in line with the rest of the RNG in this run. Pretty solid. All right, you can see two. That was not good. Oh, uh, yeah. That was oh, like you a. Got really, you got early cycle and you got. Uh, it evens out. All right, so that's an extra cycle. So I cancel it, cancel it early. Uh, that's another extra cycle. Uh, uh, I cursed everything. You did. 
each one of those for about <laughs> seven, seven seconds of peace. Hey, man. Come on. Give me the fruit. Oh, all right, he gave me the fruit. Got three extras, which is bad luck, but uh, finally gave me the it's, fruit. It's bad luck, and it, it hurts when it's right at the end. I know. It's the worst, because you're almost there. Uh, so that's about 20 seconds. 21, to be exact. OK, so we're done with, we're done with the RNG for a while. Yep, there's major no major RNG until the very end of the run. A lot of five can be finicky, but yeah, there's a bunch of like minor RNG things in this game for sure. You've touched upon. Go back to the Mario hat. I just feel like it. Switch it up. Yes. Oh, for the, and if you are wondering, I no, my name is not. I'm not named after the Switch. I I got this account in 2015, so so I've had this name for for five years, and Nintendo copied me. So in case you're in case you're looking to sue anyone, I'm not saying you should. <laughs> so what's the real story for, behind Switchmaster? It's really boring. It's <laughs> like I don't know. I was watching I was watching Mario 64 stream, and I was watching them in like the I think it was a speedrun, and I was watching them in the uh, was that it's like the the vanish um, caps stage, and there's like a switch to activate the vanish cap, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I think that's where it came from. It, my memory's fuzzy at this point, but that's what I remember. And and then hearing that the, that was the name of the console. Well, originally it was the NX, I believe. So then it was the NX, and then it was the Switch. I'm like, whoa, hey there. You got some explaining to do there. <laughs> so now everyone thinks I, you know. And it's like, yeah, you're, you know, you don't even do Switch games. You just play this one game over and over. <laughs> Kind of well, you technically did it in 3D All Stars. And you yeah, I learned my name for like two weeks. Felt good. Felt my identity was complete. All right, so where is this last thing? Oh my gosh, this yeah. is this is terrible. What is this? Okay, that was. Oh my gosh, that was. So this is one of the version differences in this in this video game. Um, the goop requirement you must clean on the JP version is like 99%. On NTSCU and PAL. English version. It's European version. Yeah, English version and European version. It's 95%, I believe. So, and and this version, believe it or not, JP has invisible goo. So it's very easy to like miss something and it'll just be sad. Um, yeah, like you'll hear the hitboxes and the visual thing isn't lined up. So, so there could be a little bit of goop, but it doesn't show it like you can't see it so it's like you don't know where to spray and that's kind of what happened i don't know if that's what happened there or if i just missed a little bit it's hard to tell but um it was just had to go back and grab it all right so here's the shadow mario for serena's coming up serena seven and i'm going to try to kill him fairly quickly but that was very quick and i'm actually going to spray the linked pair above uh, to, to the next floor and that spawns it down here. You don't actually have to go to the next floor to, to spray that and that was that was fairly smooth so I'll take that. A uh, fun fact about this game, if you spray the linked and you are standing in the position of the shine uh, if the two events happen with each other you'll actually just soft lock. Actually I think it's a lock. Thank you Sam. I'll, I'll get those shines. I'll um, do my best. It happened in a bingo this uh, season, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's there's a lot of soft locks in this game. It's it's, it's kind of crazy, honestly. So we're in Dinoki, one of the we, more in interesting levels. I won't say good, but interesting. I levels. really like Noki Bay. A lot of great movement levels here. Um, there is the eel, which is a nightmare, but nightmare not too bad. For it. <laughs> Not too bad for a runner like Switch. Thank you. Uh, and I messed up. <laughs> On cue. Yeah, Noki 1 is a cycle-based level, so Switch will not make optimal cycle anymore. Uh, it's very weird how cycles are in this level. What if I still did? No, there's no uh, way. There's no way for that, yeah. It's, it's fine. Like, the, uh, it depends on... Only, only when you arrive at certain points will the moles start 
Yeah, it's in each roll of four seconds, so. You just yeah, had like to win a second when he got to the top. Do, 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 do. Pokey's a pretty interesting world. It's very, it's fairly difficult. Um, it's fairly difficult. Lots of pretty hard shines here. Uh, it is the final world in an any percent run, uh, unless you count Corona as a, as a world. So fairly, fairly stressful as well. In one twenty, not really. Yeah, one twenty is just, it's just kind of, it's just kind of a thing. It's, it's nice. It's not the end of the, not, not the end of the, um, the run. So for this level, it's uh, Blooper on the top. Blo fighting Blooper for the third time, except we don't fight Blooper. We skip him and cheat. So we're about to cheat and glitch through the, through the level um, and grab a few blue coins. Yeah. Um, typically, you would have to just go through the top. Uh, it's pretty slow actually to get to the to the blooper if you uh, go through the casual way so this is a pretty big skip in the run saves i don't know it has to be like a minute you do the casual strats oh yeah, i thought you were about to die there that was pretty good yeah those, those uh the blue coins in the in the vases are much harder to get than they look there they're not very well programmed a lot of the things that you have to spray in this game like you have to spray them in a certain way or else they won't work Hovering, like, there's there's a lot of blue coins that I can think of that are just almost impossible to just spray in normally. You need, like, a certain setup for them. Like, that, the first base I got is, like, the setup I use, like, gets it pretty much every time. But just trying to spray it, it's like, you know, you'd think it would activate instantly because it's already a hidden blue coin. Like, this is, I hate that. Like, I'm sorry. I'm just yeah. Like, I hate it. And, like, I, I, oh, my gosh. It's, it's a hidden blue coin. It's in the vase. Who's going to know that? Nobody, and you are, and it's already hard, and you make it even harder by making it not easily sprayable. I'm sorry, I just hate it. Okay, yeah, done. I'm, I'm done. No, no, I, I think it's fair. <laughs> Strong feelings. Uh, it's just, yeah, some, some. It's like it shouldn't bug me because it doesn't affect me right now, but it probably affects me when I was younger. So I guess it's, it's retroactive. Yeah. So this is one of the this is one of three levels in the game that is entirely underwater. Um, can't run out of water here. There are different controls, kind of like tank controls. Um, pretending to navigate the bottle here without or just using these. It's a different control scheme, and only in Oki three, four, and eight. As so we're about yeah. to see in Oki four as well. Normally you can't hover oh, in the water, a harder so it activates your, it gives yeah. your, it changes your flood basically. Normally you can't hover or, or like spray underwater really, so it changes your, changes your flood. So coming up is Noki 4, this is the eel. Before we enter the eel, I'm going to do a, I'm going to clip down to the bottom of the ocean and grab a blue coin. Yeah. Oops, I don't know what I'm doing. In this blue coin, normally you'd have to swim down to. So it's a pretty big time save. It's like 10 seconds, I believe this is. Uh, you can soft lock if you don't do the trick yeah, correctly. I just, I just realized that I never, I've never soft locked there. So also there would do a momentum, grab the blue coin, do a momentum spin jump and enter the loading zone from the bottom. Um, but I just realized I've never soft locked there. So I never like take that into account, <laughs> like even for like a marathon, because it's just, I don't know, I, but I, I, I didn't, so it's it's water under the bridge, kind of literally, I guess. So that didn't really work, I'm, my bad. Um, no, you're good. All right, so coming up is Eel. I'm, I'm gonna need to focus for for the six tooth here. Uh, if I clean the teeth well enough at the beginning, then I can go for uh, a, a faster Eel kill here. Yeah. So there's gonna be maybe like 20 seconds with Chaz right here to clean pretty much as many teeth as possible. He's doing six tooth strats. Um, recently, there's actually been seven tooth, seven tooth strats developed. I think I got it. And I'm All right. Um, uh, slow. So it's going to line itself up with the tooth here. Um, if you take damage, uh, as you spray the last tooth, 
it mitigates a cutscene that plays out. Uh, so it's a 20 second time save. All right, I'm really glad I got that. So that was that was basically save tooth, which is uh, kill, which is cleaving six of the teeth before uh, he he starts spinning. And yeah. it wasn't the fastest because I messed up at the end, but it was pretty okay because I got a decent entrance as well. So yeah, that was, that was perfectly good for for eel. Yep, that was as clean as you can hope for. Yeah, pretty much. And that's that's like a worrying level because when I kind of if your setup if your cleaning at the beginning is slow, then you have a chance of getting eaten by him, which loses so much time. He spits you back up to the top, and you have to float all the way back down. Okay, so coming back, coming back is Piantissimo. He wants revenge. He's gonna beat us this time. Um, he he's he's upgraded his running shoes. He's trained. Uh, he you know uh, he doesn't look any different, but I assume he's he's got some cardio work in. So we're gonna see if he can beat us here. He's gotta do a little swimming. He's been practicing his um, practicing his swimming, taking some swimming lessons. Um, <laughs> I don't know about this. Fun fact, he actually bonks. If you, All right, uh, we beat him. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sweating. Okay, thank God. No, I expect that. that. Close. Yeah, so he bonks in the beginning, and he he spends the rest of the time swimming really slowly. It's it's the easiest Piante mode. They made him so easy here. I don't know why, but like every level is in this world is so hard and then this is so easy but it does give us time to uh get some blue coins here without losing much time so we're gonna spray these little areas have blue coins in them and return to piantissimo as yep. soon as possible talk to him yep 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 and give us the shine let's go uh if you actually re-enter a piantissimo level you after getting a shine you can get a, a more difficult race which is kind of funny yeah, he goes faster. What does he do in the second time? Does he bonk in the... I assume he doesn't bonk. I don't know anything about the second races in this game, but each each level has one. So, last secret of the 80% portion. There is one secret later, but... In Gelato, but... Last secret of the 80% run. This is highly regarded as... Probably the most difficult se uh, secret in SMS. Thank you, Warmack, um, as well. I just read random chat messages. I just like said good luck, so thank you. Okay, so for the entrance here, I'm gonna climb up these ropes without falling. Is the hope that was a good run? All right, good. That movement is tough, so I'm glad I got that. And now we have the yeah. secret, which is harder. Ropes movement takes about two seconds, but uh, I don't know. Oh my gosh, okay. That was terrible. Let's try again. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That, wow, okay. Oh man. I will have to roast you for that after. Sure. Fine, I'll take it. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow, my ropes are so good. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Pain. All right, so now the goal is to not die again. I There's cycles you can make, uh, but I'm going so slow that it does not really matter at this point. Yeah, optimally... Uh, wow, okay, I made that a lot scarier than it needed to be. Optimally, you make a cycle called green cycle, or some people call it ham cycle. I don't know if anyone still calls it that. <laughs> All right, just that didn't happen. I did that cleanly. Um, Perfect Noki 6. I did, <laughs> right, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, that was beautiful. All right, so almost done with Noki and almost done with the first half of the run. It's, I wouldn't say it's flown by, this run's long, but it's, it's walked by. Um, okay, so this Shadow Mario, you can get him in a pretty, pretty fast, quick kill. Spam spray him. You have to watch him, you know, wall kick up, and he's dead. Awesome. Let's go. So after this, um, we've collected every single uh, Shadow Mario shine. So Corona's going to unlock. Delfino Plaza is going to flood uh, with water, and um, we will enter Corona Mountain. So that'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, uh, 
pretty interesting thing that happens to Delfino. It's a state that is very rarely explored in any speedruns. Uh, the plaza is going to be entirely flooded here. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you go into Corona, even if you don't defeat Bowser, you exit it, Delfino will be back to normal um, in its final state. So we have to enter it anyway, regardless, to give it back to its normal state. So what Switch is going to do here is he's going to pick up the blue coins while he's in Corona. That way, you don't have to go back in, get the 10 blues, and exit right before you fight Bowser. So it is optimal to get the blues here. Right. So this will, yeah, this will be, um, to grab all the blues in one go, you have to navigate the boat around, and the boat is has terrible physics, so it's, it's pretty notorious for being difficult here. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I was a little worried That's about that. Backup strats. I like the strat. Okay, it's so bad. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, this this boat uh, is bane of many people's existence as children, for sure. Yeah, the physics the physics do make sense if you think about them. When you're in the back of the boat, whichever direction you spray, the boat will go in. If you're in the front, you spray. Uh, it'll go the opposite. So if you keep if you keep that in mind, the boat does does make sense. But even knowing the boat physics, I still have to take this part really slow because it's it's you know it's still it's still it's not the greatest control. Yeah. If you touch if you touch anything of the wall, you die. Not die, but the boat crashes. So I can't have that happen. Uh, but now we abandon the boat, and the rest we can get uh, by jump spinning into them essentially. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got the ones farthest away, so now we can jump spin at these. But there is one left that we haven't gotten. And to grab that one, uh, I'm going to actually use a memory card trick. So so if you have a memory card in, so I'm going to put the memory card in with my foot, actually, so I don't lose any time. Uh, and I'm going to hover to this blue coin. It'll The save text box will pop up. I'll keep hovering, dive on the stalag, stalagmite, and exit area, and uh, took out the memory card. So. Basically, basically, if you have a memory card in and you hover into a blue coin and you select don't save, it lets you keep hovering. If you don't have a memory card in, your hover gets canceled. So, um, and it's faster to exit area, which you, you can only do if you're standing on the ground or on a slope. So, yeah. so that's, that's what we did right there. Faster than dying, saves a little bit of time. Yep. It's always nerve wracking. Like, I'm always, my, my hands are always so sweaty after that. <laughs> Oh, that is one of the hardest levels in the game, um, in Montoya. I just, it's, it's not a good, it, it never brings me good vibes. So it's... here we are in the second half of 120 now. No more really any percent levels. Uh, from a lot of levels some of you have may have never seen before. And no, a lot of blue coins, a lot of hundreds. It's, it's a really interesting part of the game. Um, Kianta is, of course, the first role we'll be revisiting mm -hmm. right next to Corona. Makes sense. Um, you used to do a bunch of Delfino Shines, but the route has changed, and you do some worlds before Delfino Shines now. Yeah, so here's where the levels actually are really interesting. I, I like these levels. Um, I mean, that level was not interesting, but that, that was an example of a hidden shine. We haven't gotten any of the, the hidden... We've gotten the red one red coin hidden shine. Um... So, in every level, there's um, there's eight normal um, like normal episode shines, one hundred coin shine, and then two hidden shines. And a hidden shine can take the form of just some weird thing that you would never guess by spraying the sun um, and getting a shine. It can also take the form of uh, a red coin shine, which is what we're about to, to do here. So what's interesting is um, normally I would get 100 coins in this in this split, uh, according to my route. But I saw that Yoshi won a banana, which is slow. So since you do both 100s and uh, this level in Pianta 5, I did this one instead. Um, and this, this is a little bit easier than Pianta 5 normally because uh, you can kind of hover and skip some of the Chucksters. Here I'm gonna I'm gonna have this chuckster throw me to the side platform. Saves a little bit of time over uh, him throwing me to the main platform and then jumping over here. But it is a little bit it is a little bit tricky. 
see a fire fiance there running around. He only gives you a one up though. No blue coins, no red coins. Um, That's a scam. Yeah. <laughs> You want a one up though? It's uh, available to you. I'm down to three lives. I mean, they could could use it. <laughs> yeah, you might you might need it. Although you're about to get hundreds. Um, every time you do a hundred, you get two yes. lives. So, yeah, uh, it makes more sense. Like Switch was saying, to do Piazza Five R there when you get Banana RNG. I do. Uh, I do see some of you in chat. Uh, saying hi to me and i i can't say hi to all of you but <laughs> i hope you're enjoying and i appreciate i appreciate the support um this the rest of the run gets very interesting so um you know very 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 happy to to show this off Have you pretty guys? unlucky there you got banana twice uh at that point I did. About it. yeah so it's it's banana is the only fruit in the game that doesn't really travel far when you um throw it, so you kind of have to throw it repeatedly. If you like throwing a pineapple, it kind of bounces all the way to Yoshi essentially, which is why banana is a little bit slower. And and it's like in, in, again in gelato hundred coin, banana will be slow. Yeah, uh, not a huge deal ever though. Like it's it's at most like five seconds. No, it's not that bad. It, it is a little slow, but it's whatever. But. In Piantha 5R, you see it, you may as well just uh, stay what time you can. We're about to see a clip here that is only possible in the Japanese version of this game. Um, pretty recent, I believe, in terms of being used and runs relatively. Um, so just gonna dismount Yoshi and jump through and Y cam to back up. Pretty, uh, pretty neat, honestly. I just learned that myself. Yeah, that's a. This is a pretty, pretty, um, pretty easy trick. Is not not a huge, not a huge risk of. But if you do, if you do mess it up, then Yoshi kind of just gets stuck there, and you have to wait like yeah. two minutes for him to come back. But and you um, just exit area at that point. Yeah. So these bees can be tough. The strat for getting them is kind of just to mash B. Which is kind of funny because it's bees, but um, I just noticed that. <laughs> uh, so uh, to grab them quickly, you can mash the B button, and if you're close to them, Yoshi will eat them very quickly. Um, but if you if you get too close, they will damage you. So it's they can they can be a little bit tricky, but wasn't bad. Was was, was pretty good hundred coins. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, I, I like Pianta hundreds because it's pretty easy. Um, actually, this is coming up to my favorite level in the game, which is Pianta 8, the Red Coin Festival. Great music. <laughs> okay, no, I, you know, I, I die in this level a lot. <laughs> Switch really has quite a history with this level. Um, one of his clips was in an Easy Skate video. Um, I know. It, it's too hard to describe, but basically, Switch clipped out of bounds because of B and died in Death Plane, and recently. Which like flipped out of bounds because of flop. So Switch and this level have a interesting history together. We'll see if that comes into play here. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's just. Hey, I, I hope not too. I will say whenever I die like that, it's it's pretty much my fault. Like it, it's, I can't really blame the game in this level because if you die in this level, it's your fault. There's a lot of jank stuff that can happen, but if if you die, you probably messed up. And so this linked pair that we left earlier, um, grabbing here, and this level will pretty much finish up all the all the blue coins we didn't get earlier. Uh, so there's there's a red coin here with the bees that hopefully they won't hit me. Awesome. Okay, so there's a small chance they can hit you. To be safe, you can damage boost through them, but to make that blue coin cycle, it's a lot. You know, it's advised to to just walk through them, and it's not like super risky. It's pretty rare that they'll actually hit you. Okay, I think the bees are gone. Uh, the, the, the butterfly or the birds here. Um, pretty left. So grab this bird. We'll see the birds in this game. Okay, I am. I can't aim at all. The birds in this game are very annoying. The uh, yeah, let's do what they want. Pretty they much. are like pseudo RNG, but it is a lot of execution. Right. Um, so what Switch it just did and is going to be doing. 
um, just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, rocket storage. Is ro- yeah, rocket storage. Uh, he did it in Pianta Hidden, but kind of a weird place to talk about it, I, I guess. I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm really bad at describing the inputs for it, but basically, you release, I believe you've released L as you land from a rocket and kind of repeat the same input, you can store a potentially infinite rocket. Um, if you have an infinite water source and just at an insane amount of height, it's pretty commonly done in 120. Uh, technically done at any percent in on a mountain as well, which we'll see later. So it's it's a pretty uh, pretty cool strat. Actually. Yeah, this is a good good enough explanation. It's a uh, uh, there's there's a lot of different manipulations you can do with with rockets in this game. There's something called rocket rollout, where um, you can you can use rockets to. Uh, cross a lot of vertical distance by doing a dive rollout, and you'll see that in Sandbird and uh, later in... Um, where, where, do, where else are we? I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, oh, it, it, there's a few places. Oh, that's right. That's what it's like. So, so here's the last... Uh, so we, we finished Pianta, we're done with Pianta, that's the first uh, full world completion. Now we're on to Gelato. Right here I'm gonna have to do all the shines I skipped earlier, starting with Gelato 5. And the order I do them is mostly like preference, it's not, you don't have to do them anything. Yeah, and this is, we're yeah, gonna be here for a while. Yeah. This is Piantismo's last, um, hurrah. And he's so slow that, again, actually he's not that slow in this one, but he's still slow. So I'm gonna try to grab a few blue coins. Uh, the main part of this, the main thing that makes this level annoying is the bluebird that I have to grab right now. And I will try to grab them so they don't all fly away. Uh, that's okay. Okay, where's the other guy? He is not here. Come on. Where is he? What is this? Am I going crazy? Okay, there he is. It's that was a little insane. bit of bad RG. <laughs> Yeah. That was insane. I couldn't do anything with that. That was wow. That that bird took so long to come. I mean, it's, I didn't even lose that much time, but there's absolutely nothing I could have done with that. Optimally, you'd grab both. You kill both the birds before like Pianti's mo even gets there, but that wasn't really possible with with uh, the way yeah. those birds were positioned. I did not do anything. Sometimes you'll get there and like both birds won't even be there, and you're like, okay, that's cool. Uh, that is why you, I mean, that's part of the reason why you, it's good to get that little um, rope blue that's what you got. It kind of just, okay, well, maybe they'll be back. Um, I also yeah, don't know where I'm going to For sure. Uh, okay, so uh, we entered Gelato 6, and we're going to do uh, the 100 coin shine here, which is uh, one of the, I don't know if it's that annoying, but it can be an annoying 100 coin shine. So I need to, I need to see what fruit Yoshi wants here. It's far away, but it does look like he wants pineapple, which is which is a good fruit for him to want. So, so we're gonna grab pineapple later. These tree tree coins. And yes. you can do this, the beginner route is to do this level in Gelato Three. Um, there's there's a strat that we do in Gelato Six that is really annoying and can kill your run. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Yeah. Um, episode three. You don't have access to Yoshi, which is what makes it kind of an optimal, inoptimal, unoptimal, excuse me. Um, but here, you get Yoshi. Uh, there are enough coins where it can be very easily done. It saves like 15 to 20 seconds, I believe. Um, the hard strat is not yet. It's called, it, it's not even that hard, honestly. Um, if you practiced it as Switch has. But we'll make note of it when it comes on screen. You can do a jump throw to throw the fruit to Yoshi. If you miss, it goes in the water. So yeah, it's it's a little bit of it's a little bit of risk there. Um, and with Yoshi, these these beach uh, blue coins are much faster as well because his his sidestep spam spray is great. Mm. Lovely. Yep. Yeah, that blue you cannot get without Yoshi, the one the Switch just sprayed the jelly for. Uh, you, well, you technically can, but it makes sense. Alright, so these bees can be... These bees are terrible, um, but cooperated right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Just gotta kind of get a rhythm there. Oh, man. The pun here. And there's another baby. 
there's another Beyblade right there to grab that coin easily. And I'm gra so I'm grabbing the turbo nozzle right now. Uh, I am turboing up the slope and activating this this uh, yellow button and grabbing all these coins, hopefully. Yeah. So there's a very tight window on these mm. coins. Okay, so yeah, I missed one coin there, which That's is fine. fine. Oh, okay. like, or, no, I missed, sorry, two. That's what I meant. Um, you can miss one coin, so I, I missed two, which which is which is a time loss because I have to grab a cut. Um, what do they call it? Cataclysm. <laughs> Why can't I ever remember? <laughs> I feel like I, I always say want to say plungello. That's a different thing. It's kind of annoying. Oh episode. You can even <laughs> argue in episode three that there's a. Oh no. <laughs> this is unraveling. Ah, that's. Only two extra Cataclysm. That's fine. In episode three, there's actually not a lot of extra coins. It's pretty. There's actually more coins than there's extra coins. I missed the spread I was talking about was the yellow button. What? I was just saying the hard strat um, is asked in the chat what the hard strat oh, yeah. was. It was the yellow button. Um, so, pretty tight window. Yeah. It might not look like. Basically, the hard thing about that is. Is I slid down. I slid down the first part. The, I slid down, grabbed those coins, and then I did a dive ground pound. If you time that wrong, then you fall off, and all the coins disappear. So you have to grab like ten backup coins, and that's something that can lose you like a minute legit. So it's it's something that if you if you miss time or mess up in like a significant way, the way I messed up, I lost like ten seconds because I missed a coin, which is, and then I missed another coin, which was more time, but you know. It wasn't the worst you could do. Um, so, so now, now I'm grabbing this um, hidden coin, hidden chunk in the sand. Yep. And turn to lot seven because it's a it's a bit faster. Yeah. Uh, save the. Well, you could enter an episode eight, but there are like NPCs running around and like watermelons in the way, and seven is, I believe, more optimal for that, or just better. I like seven. I, so I do sometimes get try to get Shadow Mario though. <laughs> I see Shadow Mario. Yeah, the muscle memory will just kick in sometimes for sure. And gelato, I always forget how much of a slog gelato is. It's, it's gelato like, is so long. long. It's so long. But yeah, making smooth progress here. A lot of the some of the longer shines out of the way at least. Um, entering episode six. So, it's kind of interesting. So he thought Switch unlocked the Turbo Nozzle during Gelato 100. He's getting this Turbo Nozzle behind. He, that Turbo is actually not there until you unlock the Turbo you get in mm -hmm. Episode 6, I believe. You can see in Episode 600s, uh, when I did the 100 yeah. point, it was a hologram, as Flood will tell you. He'll astutely observe if you if you walk over the, the hologram. You're like, uh, what does he say? He's like, all right, this is the, this is the Turbo Nozzle. Oh, you can't use it. It's a hologram. <laughs> So you have to unlock the other, uh, the other nozzle. Um, yeah. So this this level sucks because uh, the, some of the red coins are tied to the fish, and the fish go wherever they want. But that was beautiful. The the fish were so cooperative. Oh, I like that. That's that was right there. perfect luck. It it, it could have the, their positioning could have been I mean faster, but still that was. Is that a gas vehicle, right? No, I don't think so. Oh. But it's close. That was that was very good. Yeah, that was that was clean. One thing they, the fish will do, depending on the RNG you get there, is is that you know they can they have like four different places they can start at, and they can move wherever they want. Basically, yeah, it's close to a goal. Um, and they can go inside the little trend, the little like uh, rocks and the coral. They can clip out. Like the coin will go through them, and so you can't do anything. You have to wait for it to come back out. Um, which is another example of Sunshine's amazing, amazing game design. But <laughs> yeah. uh, it's it does lose time. You can prevent it using the strat, like the the movement I just did. If you if it goes out of bounds, you know if it's about to go out of bounds, you can probably grab it just in time. But it's still a bad level. Okay, so coming up is Sandbird. Yeah, which is bad in this category. One of the more technical shines in the game. Uh... 
lot of the rocket storage is uh, a lot of the rocket storage are going to be used as we talked about earlier. Here, uh, there are four blue coins that are in this episode, so Switch is going to have to get eight reds and four blues in a clean manner here. Um, but it's pretty interesting. It's a pretty cool level. Um, I know a lot of people hate this level as kids. Um, I certainly did. But I'm not alone on that. So, we're going to abandon the sandbird. Okay, um, am I dead? Please don't die. Oh my gosh, okay. Hold up. <laughs> One sec. Oh. One sec. Okay. Clean back up, at least. <laughs> oh my god. I thought I was so dead there. Oh my god. I, I did too. Got to be both pretty hard. It, it's, a, it's a hard level, honestly, in 120. It's not, not something to scoff at. Right, so so what, I just, what I just did right there to make it to that platform is called a rocket rollout, and uh, it's it allows you to cover cover horizontal distance pretty quickly with a rocket level. So I messed that up a little bit, but I didn't die, so it's okay. I don't know what happened to my muscle memory there. That was... I, I, my spraying didn't work for some reason, so uh, I was a little bit yeah. slow. But, you know, it's at least didn't die. Yeah. So one of the harder shines in the, in the run out of the way, at least. Saw some cool rocket tech there, of course. As what's what's the next level here? We got Wiggler. Okay. So Wiggler, Wiggler is. Um, this level is is very weird. So he'll Wiggler will go to the same same places every time, provided you hit him hit him like with the same plants. So um, so we're gonna hit him with that plant. I I just activated the Link's blue coin. I'm gonna gr go grab that, and very quickly I need to jump back up. Yeah. And activate this linked, and we're gonna make it in time for the Wiggler and grab. Uh, we're gonna grab him before we get the blue coin, hopefully. As we talked about earlier during PD, um, things in the game that happen are still happening during those little um, linked pair cutscenes. So it, it mitigates a lot of time to do this during Wailer because there's a lot of downtime. Um, pretty much loses almost no time. Whereas normally, if you got the link, you would waste like 20 seconds. I got really bad luck at the end because any of Wiggler's body positions could be vulnerable, but that, was, that one was farthest away from Mario. You got bad luck at the start, too. You, he, he, that was like probably the worst spots you could have got. I don't think that loses time, though, because... Not really. Because it's, it's actually bit. closer to, to Mario. It just makes it harder to make the next cycle. But actually, when it's closer to the wig, to, to when that position, if you do like perfect movement, then you'll be just in time for, for the strat that I did. So I appreciated that RG, you know, it was, it was okay. It's okay. I mean, it's, it's a lot of execution. It's, it's, there is RNG, but a lot of execution there as well. Uh, okay. So yeah. So speaking of RNG, um, Gelato 2 is, is, uh, Plungellas, which I had on my mind earlier for some reason. And to kill these guys, you see, you see them on the mirrors there. There's one with three, one with two, and one with one, and you have to optimally you um, spread them to the edge of the mirror, um, all of them at the same edge of the mirror, and then you ground pound, and they all come flying off, which is much harder to do, uh, you know, with the two and the three uh, mirror thing. Um, yeah. To make it a little bit easier and faster, I grab the rock at the beginning. And this is horrible. Oh my gosh. What do I do with this? Yeah, Rocket doesn't really make things faster here. It's just kind of easier. I have no idea what to do with this. Uh, yeah. Not. Yeah, that still worked, but uh, that was. <laughs> that was. They were like all like on different sides. I don't. Could could not do that very fast. Not very favorable RNG for sure. Um, yeah, Rocket, it's pretty new here, relatively, and it, it doesn't save too much. It just kind of makes it a little smoother that was to go better. through. 
positioning. I yeah. like that. And second mirror is the hardest mirror by far, in my opinion. So getting it out of the way cleanly like that is all that matters. The second mirror, those plunge elves can actually get stuck. You don't know how to do it right, and you'll lose a lot of time. Yeah, the, the, it's programmed badly there for some reason. Like, the, the one with three is much easier to get them all at once. But the one with two, they need to be really close, so... They, they were close there, and you need to ground pound a pretty precise... pretty precise um, place. So, it, it is kind of funny the way we do this level, is we go through the story backwards. Uh, because we defeated the Wiggler, and, or, and now the Wiggler is on top of the tower and just died again, so... You know, it's kind of funny because it, the story is bad. Like, I won't defend the story because it's it's bad, but it kind of makes sense if you're going, you know, one, two, three, four. But this yeah. one, we, we go six, four, three, two, one, which kind of makes the story very confusing. Uh, yeah. And now we are going to see the last secret of the game. Last secret shine, a lot of one. Pretty easy secret, yeah. Crazy. Um. So this and its subsequent uh, red coin and shine will be the last two shines of Gelato. Hope you enjoyed our stay here. It was uh, Gelato is so long. I always forget how long it is. Hope you enjoyed the beach area. Yeah. Same beaches, cataquacks. What, what what could you? What's not to like? Honestly, y'all said Gelato so many times. I want to get Gelato after the stream. <laughs> that, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's not that's nice. Well, Makes sense. I don't actually think I've ever heard of and at this point, uh, it's just a, it's just a, on on principle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Don't actually called Mama Mama Beach. Is the Japanese like name for it in like on the menu? It's kind of funny for that reason. The way you said menu, I thought thought you were talking about the actual food for a second. Like, no. Uh, <laughs> no, that would not make sense. Not like it makes a lot of sense otherwise. But yeah. it is, it is weird that they like they didn't they they changed the names of each of the like yeah they're, the they, names are all weird. Why did they change the why did they make it? Why did they change the name and in, in the well I guess they changed it in the English version but. So we we get we just we just did the secret now you can see the uh, uh, the red coin hidden part. Secret like movement is pretty bare bones usually, and then you actually get to explore the the whole level and when you get the red coins, which I find to be which I find to be nice. And usually the it's much harder to optimize. This is probably one of the more interesting um, hidden reds here. Pretty fun, honestly. The movement, the movement for the hidden reds is like some of the best in the entire game, honestly. Like I love ILing these. Uh oh. Uh, we're doing pretty, pretty good strats here. Going for 39 strats, it looks like. Drop to side flip though. Dropping side flips in this game. That is one thing with this game is side flips and spins are so crucial and yet so easy to draw. That was good though. All right, so yeah. I mean, not not a terrible gelato. We're done with it though. It's over. It's over. Okay. Yep. Um, and now we are going to do a bunch of Delfino shines. Uh, not all of them. There, some of them will be saved later in the room, but a bunch of Delfino shines are going to be done right about now. Starting with the one closest to Gelato Beach, Beach Pipe. Yeah, Jeez. so this easy. is uh, roughly an easy, easy skybox level. But these 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 skybox levels are pretty cool, and, and you know it's it's very it's very cool concept just being really really high up in the sky. It, it's like it it completely removes you from this game's like it either immerses you in the in the tropical thing or you're in the sky and doing platforming. Like I, I don't I don't really know exactly what they're going for, but it is actually pretty fun. Kind of like a precursor to Galaxy in that sense, like skies and night themes and stuff like that. Kind of interesting. Um, as Switch starts, one of the most dreaded things for some runners in this game, uh, the Fruit Ladies. You gotta you deliver... <laughs> <laughs> Being healthy. 
Yeah. Um, you gotta deliver three fruits to the, the fruit ladies, the people, the Fiantas who are sitting with the baskets. It's fairly difficult to do optimally, but... All right, yeah, I already messed it up. <laughs> it's okay, though. So, the Durians are here. I'm gonna line them up. Um, hmm, I need to get them a little bit closer. Mm, all right. Wait, did that fall off? I don't think that fell off. I think that's fine. I actually couldn't tell. So hopefully all the Durians made on the edge. That pineapple is being annoying. All right, good. Yeah, there, are, there are four fruit ladies in the game. Um, the pineapple and Durian lady are the two hardest ones for sure. All right, so um, that during like went off in a weird place, but it didn't it didn't like fall into the water, which is all that matters. Yeah, uh, there are no in on the English version and Pal and um, European version of this game. There are backup durians somewhere nearby. Japanese version, there are no extra fruit. So Switch has to be very careful here. But yeah, those are like probably some of the hardest blue coins in the game. Like, it's, it's kind of funny. Like, I, I wonder how many people like not do those as kids. Um, so Switch is going to be doing the box game. In this little hut here, uh, there are two shines you can get, but three different arrangements of boxes. The third one does not give you a shot. It, it's really weird. Yes, I know that. <laughs> yes, yeah, Switch, Switch is familiar with that. But. All right, so those fruits weren't that fast, but the durians didn't go in the water. So coming up is the one of the harder tricks in the game. It's called Jelly Skip 2.0. You saw Jelly Skip 1.0 earlier. This is this is double the fun, double the blue coins. Okay, so it's, it's one blue coin, but double the difficulty. So so I'm going to clip out of bounds here, grab these blue coins, and then actually I can't expect it. I need to focus. Yeah, so she's basically going to... It's a camera manipulation tactic here um, in order to clip into blue above the lighthouse or above the whatever you want to call that thing. Um, and routing wise makes sense to go to the lighthouse right here since you are lined up perfectly. So that was, yeah, that was Jelly Skip 2.0 and um, got the blue coin without Yoshi there. That is very difficult to get consistently though because you kind of just have to estimate. You don't. There's no visual cues. You just have to do the same movement every time and pray that it works. So, worked out perfectly. Yeah. There. No complaints. Yeah, that, that worked. worked well. So um, now we do another... a little harder. <laughs> More glitches. Um, so this is a. Uh, we're actually bringing a banana over to. Um, the, this island over here, which is a kind of another jelly skip. So there's more jelly over here, which you need to spare with Yoshi. But using a banana, uh, similar to what we did in Strata 3, we can cook through. Right. That's it. That's it. Typically, you have to get Yoshi and ride the boat. That's perfect. And oh, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, wow. It is so much nicer just to do this. Uh, gets the clip. And this water here is... You touch that and you die. So Switch has to be pretty careful here. Um, it, 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 uh, this level is so troll, honestly. It is so troll, agreed. You might see that pipe at the end. Uh, if you go into that pipe, you just get sent back to Delfino. So, I don't know if anyone fell for that as kids, but if you do, I... If you did, I feel for you. Pranked. Yeah. You're baited. That was a really good clip, yeah, that was... Aim nice. lily pad. That, that clip is like... Just can, can lose you a lot of time if you if you if you don't get it instantly because uh, the setup the setup seems seemingly becomes harder. Um, but so this is the part of the run where we get a lot of really quick Delfino shines. Starting with right now, uh, which you can spam through really really quickly to activate. And I'm going to do a rocket storage here really quickly to grab the shine quick. I said a quick way to make that. <laughs> so rocket storage up there, dive in the shine and fall down. This is like, this is a weird part because you don't get a cutscene in between each shine, so it's, it's very rapid fire. 
yeah, the shine after shine right here. Uh, it's almost a little jarring not having any event cutscenes because sometimes if you're like not paying attention, you'll start button mashing. And you're like, oh, I didn't do that. Right. I shine gate just <clears throat> forward. Am I jumping off? I am jumping off. Wow. Uh, I how on earth did that happen? Uh, right. Honestly, if that happens more than you would think. Oh, dang. I, don't know. I, I honestly expected to, to ledge grab. I'm shocked I didn't. I, I, I should have charged a rocket in case I didn't ledge grab. That would have been smart. Dang. And this is the actual quickest shot in the game. This is the quickest shot in the game, yeah. Um, it's very hard. I'm very proud of Switch for not choking this. <laughs> um, Thanks. It's very difficult. It requires a lot of um, motor skills to be able to do that. So shout out to Quick for the, uh, to Switch for that. Quick. Call me that, sure. You know, it's like, it's like, also shout out to Quick. Uh, also, also, I golded, I actually golded that. that, that Gold. Out. That's yeah. insane. I'm, I'm so good. Well, if the two of you don't mind, I'm going to interject here and just let everyone know that speaking of quick, awesome games done quick, 2021 online is coming up soon. And the Yeti has a virtual attendee shirt on sale now at theyeti.com slash HGDQ from now until December 15th. This exclusive pre-order shirt will have a virtual attendee design and will be shipped out prior to the event so you can have it just in time for HGDQ 2021 from January 3rd through the 10th. Uh, the portions uh, or pr a portion of the proceeds for every shirt sale will be donated to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Uh, and thank you again, uh, everyone, for watching. Humble reminder that GDQ Hotfix is sponsored by viewers like you. Uh, so thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. And if you are enjoying the run, make sure you follow our runner here on Twitch. That is Switchmaster64, as well as our commentator for today, Jeff Compass. Thank you both again for being here. It's been really great so far. Thank you. Buy the shirts, everyone. <laughs> it's a cool design. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Thank you for thanks for having us, of course. Oh yeah. We we both speedrun we both speedrun this game, so if you want more if you want more um, sunshine yeah. content. And of course there's a there's a host of other of other active runners as well. Uh, so go follow the Sunshine directory and check out everyone else. So I just got the gold bird uh, pretty quickly with spam sprays. And now all we have left is the Chuckster Shine, which Instead of, there, there's a shine sprite um, that you can pay a Chuckster one coin, uh, but I say, no, I don't have money, so instead I'm going to clip by using this banana, um, because not all of us can, <laughs> not all of us can afford your exorbitant prices of one coin. So I'm going to clip through and grab the shine anyway, so there it is. Double Delfino for now. And we're moving on. A trick is called DeLorean. I don't know why it's called DeLorean. I know like what the DeLorean is on Back to the Future, but I, I guess because you like warp to the shine. I don't know. Sure, <laughs> go with that. But coming up is Bianco. Um, this, uh, so we're gonna finish up the shines in Blue Coins we didn't get earlier. This level is pretty tough actually in the second half. Starting off, we're gonna. Yeah. We're gonna enter Bianco 8 for the first four shines. I already messed up. Um, and okay, so this isn't even the hard part. <laughs> so this is Bianco 8, and this is the red points on the uh, on the ropes, which this is can be big tough. Part. This is like one of the biggest parts of the new route. Mainly, is it's a pretty much an overhaul of Bianco. Um, it's very difficult. Uh, so we should just learn these strats, so be nice. <laughs> Hopefully. Thanks. Yeah, I will say, so th I think this this was shown off in SGDQ, but um, what route were they, were they using? I, I think they were using this route. Uh, SB but, was not. SB was like, like, an old route. Um, I, th I think Paper did new route, but I, I don't know. Am I going to get hit? I did get hit. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, this level is fairly similar to just the normal 120. These reds, this is actually probably, in my opinion, one of the hardest levels in the entire run to like execute perfectly. It is really tricky, yeah. All right, so made that jump at least at the end. 
Grab this coin and drop down to the shine. If you fall down, any pretty much any level where you just have rocket is so risky because if you fall down, like if you slightly miss something, you can't hover back up and get it. You can't. There's no small adjustments. It's either rocket or no rocket. Uh, um, but speaking of rocket strats, we actually have a a, uh, a pretty tough level um, coming up. It's the red coins in Bianco Six, the hidden, the red coin hidden shine. And it's say it's faster to do this with rocket, but it's also very hard. So um, it's it's very difficult. So the hope is that I that I get it, but there's so many ways to mess it up. Yeah, this level is by far, in my opinion, the hardest level in 20. Um, okay. Maybe in the entirety of SMS, honestly. Well, this bird is not cooperating. <laughs> Uh, Rocket Reds is fairly new. I believe it was always known about or theorized, but no one really did into a run until recently. So, a lot of the blues are being rerouted here. Typically, you would get the blues, which is getting right now in Yonko Hundreds. Oh my gosh. Um, and this movement is not even the hard part of this, believe it or not. This is the entrance. We're not even in. Yeah, we're not in the secret yet. Yeah. Lots of rollouts, lots of rocket storages. Um, it's gonna be a double rocket storage to get to this blue over here. Oh, that is no. the worst thing you can do right there. Is that? Oh. So yeah, I actually have not. <laughs> I have never seen oh. anyone do that. So. That is There's always got to be a few moments like that. <laughs> yeah, I have not. It's like a small like mistake thing there, and you like press. I like press L a little bit too late, and um, I just sidestep off the edge. And, Aww, yeah. don't worry about it. But luckily, actually, so it doesn't lose as much time as it could because we have the blue coins. So now we just grab this rocket. I guess this is faster. I, so, yeah, you still gotta get that high up blue coin, so... Improv actually, movie, I guess. I actually don't know, like, what the optimal backup is for that. Besides oh, it's, yeah. Will this work? No, not even close. Okay, so the spider will get us up there. At least I know that. Yeah, you're not gonna even be on the side again, so I guess you have to be here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so we're back where we were before. So that, that, um... That uh, basically that rocket storage was supposed to take us to that higher platform, but I I adjust my angle. But okay, so yeah, it's... <laughs> it hasn't happened yet for me. Which is I have never seen it, but I'm just gonna say it happens. Cause it happens. Like, it yeah, always happens. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that happens all the time. Can't it happens to you because you're bad. Yeah. Right, so no, so this is the hard part of the of the level. Yeah, this is by far the most difficult in red. Uh, it's, we're gonna see, lots of rocket storages, lots of precision. Rocket is so much harder to control than hover. Hover is so easy to correct mistakes. Rocket, you kind of just have to commit and hope it works. Mm, Very nerve wracking yeah. at the top here. Yeah, uh, uh, I think we're fine. That was fine. That was fine. I think we're fine. Alright, so... We got that. Let's go. <laughs> so, he's insane. We, we, you know, the death mitigated... The death lost much more time than that route would save, but, you know, that at least looked cool, so I'll take it. Yeah. <sighs> I'm, I'm glad I can... <laughs> You got the hard part, you just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what matters, so it's okay. I can mess up, like, as much easy stuff as I can happen, as I can, and just... That is... Matter. It's a marathon race, it's improv, essentially, you're, you're gonna make mistakes. Alright, so now we're on to uh, three reds, which is a little bit easier, luckily. So Switch, uh, I don't know if we talked about this yet, but Switch has... At any point, if Yoshi shows at the start that he wants coconut, 
it's optimal to go do Bianca like Hundreds at that point because Coconut is the fastest fruit for that. Yoshi has not wanted that yet. So Switch is going to have to play with fire here and kind of hope that Yoshi does give Coconut next time around. Uh, Pataya and Pineapple are like if he if he doesn't um it's go, it's yeah. like it, it, it just is much more convenient pineapple and papaya are not that slow but there is the risk of getting hit by the bees and it's just that whole area is like a lot of stuff's happening so typically yeah, if right, I get it's, it's pretty good it's pretty good as almost as fast as coconut So, moment of truth here. Not well, not really. It's not even that big of a deal. But yeah, go ahead. It's pretty fun though. It's a good try. Yeah. Yes, this is live. I can see your message. Hi. <laughs> this, is, this is live. Unless I predict your, your message. So, think about that. <laughs> That's a very common question on this show in particular because uh, Time Capsule or playing older games, people sometimes yeah. think it might be an older run, but yeah, this is live. <laughs> um, Switch gets the good RNG. Coconut RNG. That'll make this Bianco Hunters nice and clean right here. Uh, it's like a one-fourth chance. Whoa, those coins are far out. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> So, uh, what Switch just did is called Kinney Sliding. For you, typically you can't do that slide there. Yeah, while well, you're holding it right normally, you have to just walk. But if you slide off a slope like that, you can you can do uh, repeated dives. Very nice. And yeah, it's, it's typically that's another reason why coconut and banana are best if you're just in a setup for that easier. Whereas pineapple and papaya, you kind of have to force it. So yeah, a lot of blues are going to be gotten here. A lot of the blues. Um, Switch, if you remember PD Piranha, the first half of this, you got most of the blues. I believe you only missed the door. And the M. Or in the M, so not the 100 series. Pretty smooth for that reason. Oh, wait, I did miss the door. No, that's actually not smooth. That's a lie. <laughs> Eh, it's not that slow. I mean, you kind of have to accept. Expect not like it. Not like I, not, not like it would have been better to get it before, but like, it's it's a little bit awkward to get it. I, I it might. It's probably it's better to get it in six reds. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I think it is actually. Um, if not. you were live right now, Twitch will want you to wink. What if, what if I'm not live? What should I do? And. Uh, <laughs> blink, blink five times. What if I'm being held hostage? Oh no! <laughs> Super Mario <laughs> Sunshine <laughs> 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 Scary thought. So yeah, we need to bring Yoshi to the other side. Um, there is a butterfly flying around. The bees and the butterflies are the only blues in this game you cannot do without Yoshi. Do need Yoshi for those. Uh, I think it's been theorized ways that you could get the butterfly without Yoshi, but as of now, oh, we can get the, we can get the, uh, the alcove thing here. That's, that's fine. That's not an issue. Kind of the link done there. It's it's really interesting how the links are done in like different episodes. Honestly, I got trolled. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that blue is episode six through eight. It's on the right side, and in episodes uh, one through five, it's on the left side. So I don't know why Nintendo changed it. I like we're never gonna know, honestly. I like they would have any recollection of it. But it's one of those things with this game that's just no one can explain. Nobody. You can explain how stuff works, but never why stuff works. Especially if it involves Nintendo. What is the fact? So I got an extra yeah. coin, so I only have to get one of those, so that might have been actually worth it. <laughs> I only have to get one of those, uh, 
pokies at the end. And we spawn the shine, so... Um... Bianco is finished. No. No, nope, that's not true. There's one more shine in Bianco. I always forget about the first shine of the game. I always forget about it. It's, you may think, Bianco won. Why don't we... Why do we do Bianco 2 instead of um, Bianco 1 early on? If you do Bianco 1 later, even though you're scrolling all the way back, it's still faster than watching an event cutscene by very little. Um, it's just weird, but it, it is technically faster to do Bianco 1 later in the route. Also, thank you, Shy, for the bits and the support. Appreciate it. I'm trying to close this run out. Um, having fun with it. So, yeah, this is Bianca 1. And very, very easy shine, luckily. But there is still one blue coin to get, which is in the water over there. So I'm going to... I'm going to do some movement where I kill this blue piranha at the same... I, and while while he's dying, I go grab a blue coin. I don't even mourn his death, which is kind of terrible of me, but... It saves 10 seconds, so it's kind of worth it. Only takes three hits, and I would grab this blue. Missing that blue is actually really huge. Like, if you miss that blue, it's like 20 seconds. Yeah, because it's really slow to just go out to, to the uh, to the water yourself. It would be interesting if you can get that during the cutscene, but you get like warped instantly to the to the to the you know area there. So I don't think it's possible. So Bianco is done. Moving on to Pin Apart now. Second half of Pin Apart. Oh, people missed why B I said Bianca 1 was done later. It's technically faster to pull all the way back and to watch another event cutscene. Um, and doing 2 through 5 early instead of 1 through 4 you know, second trip, you'd have to do five, six, and seven, all would have event cutscenes, so that would be three seconds per. But pulling all the way back from eight episode one is like 2.5 seconds or something. Uh, so it's it's technically faster to just God. do it later. Essentially, just skip an event cutscene. Uh, these that made no sense. What that one fall in? That was going so much slower. I don't I don't understand. I'm getting trolled by the, the coconut. I was, I was like, I would have saved that one, but it was the wrong one to save. It didn't need saving. The other one needed saving, and I wasn't there for it. That is surprisingly deep, actually. Um, uh, okay, so coconuts, I mean, it's going to be a troll. But we're into Pinna. And into the, I'd say this is the getting close to the final-ish stretch of the run. We have basically yeah. Pinna, Serena, yeah. and Rico left. They're all fairly short. Indeed. So this is uh this is back into pin of six. Grab the red coins. Um, but to get back into the secret, we do need Yoshi. He, he wants to pile up. So we wish you good luck. We need to get like orange Yoshi again. Papaya. Is Yoshi orange? I'm uh, gonna go the second half of the link as well. I love the karaoke with <laughs> Pinna Park music. It's great. Yeah. Second half of Pinna is fairly chill. Not too stressful. It's um, it, I like the second half. Stress. This part's stressful. Yeah, Pinna 6 R it's fairly cycle based. Big optimal cycle, it's pretty tight. we're going to hopefully see Switch make optimal. Yeah, there's a block at the end that goes up and down. I need to ride it. Uh, there is a way, and there's actually, like, I, I've seen Did I Do Strats that um, makes it pretty pretty much, just loses like a second or two, and it's way easier in terms of, like, always making optimal. Like yes, it's true. But I got it. That was, that was very smooth movement. Clean. Of course, the, the coconuts didn't, didn't make this, you know, a, a great segment, but 
I'll take a good. I'll take a good secret. Um. Of course. I'm gonna get one more hat change. Because I think yeah. there's people seen the Wario hat or Waluigi hat. Hold up. Wham! <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of people who didn't see it before, so there you go. There you go. We appreciate it. Filthy, you filthy Waluigi lovers. All right. Zerg. Don't have a mustache. All right, coconut RNG. All right, so pin a hundreds here. Um, Zerg's with the huge, huge donation there. Oh wow! Thank you. Thank you very much, Zerg's. So pin a hundreds here is the coins on the beach are not RNG, actually. Um, they are all set, but stamps for your RNG does kind of make it feel like RNG. Uh, in accordance, there's five coins in each of these stews that Yoshi is eating here. Uh, so it's a pretty... It's not a hard... Wait, where is it? Hundred, but it's pretty easy to lose time, if that makes any sense. Yeah, the coins, it's tough to tell where the coins are, and you're, you're kind of just spraying blindly, so if, if you don't get enough coins in the beginning, then you'll end up eating a lot at the end if you lose your time. Yeah. Gotta eat Yoshi again, because there are butterflies on the beach. Um, uh, if you don't eat the butterflies, it's up for debate whether or not Yoshi is faster or slower. I don't think there's been a concrete answer. I have way too many coins right now. <laughs> I don't need this many. Never have too many, unless it's over a hundred. Great, 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 uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess you, I guess that's true. Good point. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's too many, but you could just get it accidentally. I don't know, I always have too little when I get to here, so I, I, I think having the not here is nice. So, there is one basket I didn't get earlier in pin of two, and um, so I'm going to use Yoshi to clip through and grab it. So that's a little of the glitch that makes that basket a lot easier. Yeah, you can technically get that in pin of two. Um, it's optimal, I believe, if you get, but you need a purple bill at the start, which, like an extra purple bill, which isn't always a guarantee. I also didn't see that message, but... Thank you. I thank you. Shout out to Zerners. Best speedrunner, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, so on to pin at eight. And um this is a this is a fun level, I gotta say. Yeah, this is one of those this is one of those levels that everyone remembers as kids, but you know, they may they may not have the best memories with it. Um, but basically here, no movement really, besides the entrance, um, which has to the same controls as Pin-01, the mecha fight, which means to get 20 of the pink balloons, rockets. Uh, it's fairly difficult, but not too hard. Um, lots of them can be done in doubles here, as we're going to be seeing. Uh, some of them you should do in triples. You can. It's so the, the first like three doubles are like the hardest part, and then the rest is easy. <laughs> yeah, and switch. It seems like we're doing pretty well here. Yeah, like, I, I nailed them. So very happy about that. Oh my gosh, I got that one extra too. This is sick. This is a good hit of eight right here. Did I get the double? I don't think that's possible. Oh wait, I missed them both. Well, <laughs> that was stupid. Um, that's a hard double, though, to be fair. I don't yeah, think that's possible. <laughs> Is it? Maybe from both. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's possible. Because like, I went between them, so there's no way a double is possible. Uh, but that was still fun. That's still a really good idea. You can... It gives you three cycles, and so the goal is to pretty much get it under under one cycle. 
you do not get it under three cycles, you will die. So it is, but I have not seen the top 120 runner ever die there. You, you would have to like really mess up. Double pin on. We're moving on to uh, Noki, but before that, I'm gonna grab a few blue coins and uh, the second box game shine. We'll return to box game. We all love it so much. The last bird here. The box game is really weird. There's lots of like glitches you can do with box game. Um, that are used in 120, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a straight few, form. The, the properties of it are very strange. Uh, it's, it's floating in the sky. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to do that, but it is fun. So I will say one one of the cooler things about this game is is the glitches in general, and not even the, like the ones that are like relevant to speedrunning, but just like kind of glitch showcases. I think those are really entertaining. Okay, I don't know what that was. Oh, uh, where did that go? It's fine. She's gonna do the last fruit lady of the game. Nana lady. Yes. Do they have names? Uh, uh not the banana, banana lady. lady. Everyone just calls banana her. Uh, everyone just calls them their fruits. Um. All right. Now we're going to Noki and. Noki's second half is is pretty difficult, I will say. Yeah, Noki is one of the harder worlds, um, as we're about to see. But right now we have the hidden. Hidden is fairly lenient. It's gonna be spraying a, a bird like a. I'm gonna ask why am I not saving? Hello. Well, I left my memory card at college, so I, I can't save. And how did, how did you do the? It's okay. You do the trick in Corona, then. Uh, shoot, I was hoping you wouldn't ask about that. <laughs> um, uh, magic. There you go. <laughs> the magic is in the hat. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, saving you arrived in there, too, but magic as well. Um, so, yeah, save, saving is slow. So basically the whole run, we don't have a memory card in. Um, because not, it, I'm not going to name. Name. I don't want to name names, but there is a 120. There is someone who had a 120 run once who saved on every single blue coin <laughs> Xbox. Yeah, it's, and, it's a lot of time. And it was like the run was like over 10 hours. So <laughs> typically, you don't want to. You don't want to save. There are enough lives in this game. In 120, there are 100 coin shines. I do give you extra lives of you. It's it's okay to like. See, the thing about Sunshine, there's no reason to have a memory card in all the time unless you're worried about softlocking, because if you have zero lives, you can save in, put a memory card in and save inside the secret. Like, say you're dying a lot in Noki 6 and you have zero lives left, just put your memory card in and save there. Um, but you do need to make sure you you have an open slot is, is the one thing. Because if you, if you, the slot A of your memory card has data on it already, you won't be able to, like, you, and, and it wasn't like your current playthrough. I, I don't exactly know how it works, but it, you won't be able to save it in a lot of scenarios. So, um, like if you, if you don't start on that file, I think. Yeah. But yeah, you don't have to have a memory card in the whole time. It's very slow. So the, uh, you want to explain a bit about the Noki 100's route? At Noki 100's route, it's one of the newer routing changes. Um, previously, so either way, Switch was going to get the turbo nozzle here. Um, Previously, after Switch gets the link and gets a few coins in the water, previously we would switch back to the hover nozzle and you would just get a bunch of other balloons that we're going to get in Noki 6R. Um, keeping turbo, though, is viable um, and it saves, I believe, like 12 to 15 seconds. Um, it just makes things a lot faster. It does make things a lot riskier. There's going to be a jump at the top that is a bit scarier and getting a few of the blues is a bit difficult. Bad fun spot. But it does stay right here. <laughs> um, You're good though.
It just, uh, your stream just cut out for me. But yeah. Tokyo Nerds, it's pretty difficult. It's a good test of... I don't know. It's a good test of... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the right word for it, but it's a good test of being a good player. That's, that's, that's good. It's a good English yeah. test. Good enough, yeah. <laughs> So well, this is good. I th I think I like the cycle I'm on right now. I think I do. Hopefully. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, it's it's cycle like base at the top. So if you no, are no 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 no. Oh my god. Oh no. I, I, oh my god, you wrong with that. Dude, okay. I'm um, to refresh. Please. I did not hear it happen. It happened there, so. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, I get it. Uh, you don't want to know. Um, oh, I, I beat the level. It's. it's oh. <laughs> I beat the level. Um, I'm getting the shine, and I got the shine. So, we're on to Noki 6 reds. And I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing Noki 6 reds, actually. So, got nothing happened. Don't worry about it. Okay. Let's, let's get some for them. Don't, don't. Just, just act like everything's okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, my whole stream is off. I gotta... Actually, don't know what happened. Just a little quick refresh maybe for you, Jeff. I'll commentate. So, entering no no he sticks reds. So don't have Jeff. He's gone forever. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> so the balloons that Switch is getting right now are previously, were previously done in Pokey Hundred with the hover nozzle. Getting them here. Uh, mitigates some of the vertical distance um, in terms of creating blues and then you're gonna get to the top and or over to the secret entrance. Do you want me to um, explain what uh what happened? <laughs> sure. I, okay. It actually was so stupid because I had a really good Noki hundreds and it was going so smooth and I got the jump at the end perfectly and then I tried to do a side flip wall kick and I side flipped past the thing slid off the edge of the shell, which I have never done before, and fell all the way down, so... Yeah, that's why I didn't want you to know what happened, because it was embarrassing. I got you. It happens. It's a really easy level to... <laughs> it was so funny, because I got every hard part that I missed in this weird part, but it's okay. Okay, wow. That was intense. I do really like this this, uh, this red coin shine. I gotta say, very fun. It's a cool, yeah. It's, it's one of the better uh, red coin shines. That's been going insane with Donut, by the way. Switch this community. <laughs> I can't see it, but thank you. Um, hold on, I'll, I'll read. Oh my god. Uh, thank you. Um, I can't see it. You, you read everything. You read everything. Nerders, thank you so much for the gift subs, of course. Um. Shy, Shy went ham with the bits. Super, super hype there. Super? Oh, super, I don't even know if Super's here. Uh, shout out to Super, my good friend. Indeed. He knows nothing about Sunshine, but we're still friends. Right, Thank so, you everyone for the support. You guys' support makes these events happen, so we wouldn't be able to do this stuff without you, so. So good pause. Oh. Yes. The Switch is going to do the last shine in Noki Bay now. You wouldn't be able to see me mess up Noki Hundreds without <laughs> without you guys' support, so so it's much appreciated. Thank you all. So yes, this is the last uh, uh, thing in um, Noki Bay, and... Uh, 
No, we're gonna grab these four blue coins and then do the red coin fish. Which this is one of my favorite levels in the game, so everyone enjoy the music. Yeah, after you get the yeah. after you get the four blue coins, you're gonna be lined up perfectly for the red coin fish. Um, which is why they're done here rather than eel, because you do have a little bit of time where you have to float gracefully down. So it just kind of uh, cuts down on that a bit. And hopefully we get them all at once is the goal, all in one cycle. This fish is chasing us. Go away. Go away, fish. Go away. <laughs> that fish gets to you. you uh, We're OK. Very, very hard to recover from that, so. OK. There's right. continuing to go ham. Floating. Now we just float down, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is this is uh I used this as a bathroom break before I run. Go on. And uh no key four. Because I appreciate the support and everyone else who is who is donating. Um Alright, so done with Noki. So what's next? Serena. Two more worlds. Yep. Serena and Rico, two more worlds left and a few Delfino shines and yeah. So in the second half is one of the more interesting parts of the game, for sure. Uh, Serena Hundreds is super neat. It's it's not tip it's not your typical Mario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're you're not platforming really in Serena Hundreds. It's more of a test of agility and graceful you can be going through the hotel. It's 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 almost like a different type of playing, honestly. I like that. <laughs> if you're not graceful, you're gonna be bonking on stuff, and it's bad. It's like a deer, but without the antlers, so you can't bonk on stuff. Graceful like a deer without antlers. Like a bull in a, bull in a china shop. Yes. Deer in a, a blue coin shop, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> made that really hard for me. The metaphor was a stretch. So yeah, we, we grabbed some coins before entering the hotel. We're going to grab the rest of the... Uh, Grab the rest of the hundred coins inside the hotel, um, and the these torches are annoying. Coins that Switch got on the outside. Uh, two transfer over. Right, and if we were to enter the casino, it would transfer over. So you can you can get the hundred coins pretty easily in this in this level. There's a lot in the casino that you can get. Um, but we don't get end of the casino because we get enough here. No reason really to end the casino. Either. Also, I should note that um, we do the 100 coins in Serena 7 because this is the Shadow Mario level, and the way they program this level is they have all the doors, even the ones normally locked, um, open, so that Shadow Mario can go in them and you can chase them in there. Uh, so, so this is uh, this is very convenient to enter here and get all these blue coins and um, yellow coins. Yeah, like if you enter episode eight, it's really difficult to back that up. The doors are all going to be closed. So you, I mean, you might as well. You could just do Cern eight. <laughs> but well, yes, you're. Right. I I have done Cern eight before. Then we entered Cern eight. So <laughs> nice, classic. Yeah. Had to be careful with that. As you can see, just lots of blues are going to be gotten here. Really is a different type of like level. It's like you don't see these typically in Mario games, like going through a hotel and it's interesting for sure. Bonk to the boo, boo! Oh my gosh, come back! Uh, what is this? That boo can actually, um, the, the, if you if you're on the chair, if you hit it like right now, um, the, the blue point will go out of bounds, and I believe you have to back it up by getting it in. That's the eight. Yeah, if, if, if it's if it's kind of in the middle of the wall, you want to leave it be until it's fully outside, fully in balance, essentially. This is one of my favorite levels in the game because the movement is just so... It's a super cool level, yeah. Not like I'm, you know, the greatest at it, but it's still fun. Even, even if you're bad, it's still fun. 
And when Swish gets his last four coins coming up, he's going to be at 99. He's going to get his last coin from a boo that's um, going to be on the way down. So it's actually fairly... I think it's optimal to end with 99 coins at the top. No, there's a coin yeah. I missed earlier. But it's it's faster to get this back up than to just try keep trying to get that blue uh, that coin. It's like you know you try it once and then you don't try it again. I hear that. Ah, missed the shot. Yeah, pretty clean turn of hundreds. Um, one of the last hundreds in the game. Uh, you can do starting hundreds in like almost every episode. Um, I believe you can do it. Everything besides two and six. Um, episode one and four are not used in any real categories, though. They are pretty common hundreds. Uh, you can do hundreds in episode one, but it's slow. <laughs> Terrible. It's I, really bad. Yeah, it's. I would always try it as a kid, and I would always get to like 98 or 99. It's very, very long to do if you don't know where the coins are. All right, so coming up is turn at eight. And I'm going to use a nice little clip here. So that's called door clip. And that door is normally locked from the outside, so you can't open it. But well, that is the locked means. But um, uh, you can do this uh, Mario cam storage trick to bypass that yeah. and grab the red coins very quickly. And they give you a five minute timer, but we only take about 40 seconds. Which remembering the bookcase. Yes, I do. It's so much easier to remember from in, in this level, I gotta say. So 418, that's pretty good. That's a that's a pretty good time. Five minutes is so much more time that isn't than what is needed in this level, honestly. Like even casually I finish this level with minutes to spare. I mean, you say that, but I have seen a lot of casual players run out of time. The thing is, they would probably spend 20 minutes on it. <laughs> so, you know, maybe more time isn't helpful, but they just need to, like, play it multiple times and then we get it. Maybe there doesn't even need to be a, like, I, I don't know. Why does there even have to be a timer? I can't just be like, uh, it's a weird, weird, weird game. Yeah, now we're going to do the two hidden red coin shines. Um, the secrets that we did earlier in the run. Right. So, pretty cool levels coming up. Um, turn up 4R and 2R are pretty interesting, uh, movement-wise. If you're curious, there's about 20, min 20 minutes left in the run, based on my current pace. Also, I did just gold turn it. I've golded, like, so many splits this run. <laughs> I'm keeping track on, on like, on, on, you know, my, my normal splits, so I don't... I can remember the route, but I, I have pulled it mostly by like a, a tiny margin still. I'll take it. So yeah, Serena Four Reds, I do like this level. Yeah. Spread of movement is pretty fun. Gold's done quick. Ooh, heck yeah. Well, gold's done slowly would be <laughs> a little bit harder to do. Smooth, did you want to plug the shirts again? Just checking in. Oh, <laughs> well, I uh, could mention it uh, again, certainly, but uh, I actually just want to say, uh, you know, thank you everybody for all the support. Uh, Hotfix shows our content uh, produced between AGDQ and SGDQ. And uh, while we appreciate all the bits and subscriptions to support our Hotfix content, uh, if you do want to donate to the Prevent Cancer Foundation, just please mark your calendars for January 3rd, as that is when AGDQ charity marathon will begin. <laughs> um, but yeah, AGDQ 2021 uh, coming up soon. Soon, and the Yeti has a virtual attendee shirt on sale right now at the yeti.com slash AGDQ. Uh, you can get that from now until December 15th. And that exclusive pre-order shirt will have a virtual attendee design. It's really, really cool. It will be shipped out prior to the event and you can have it in time for the marathon. Uh, again, January 3rd through the 10th and a portion of those proceeds for the shirts will be donated to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Thanks. <laughs> of course, yeah, I, I'm... I'm very much looking forward to uh, to this year's GDQ, and uh, I, there's a, there's a lot of interesting runs. Sunshine will be there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will be, Sunshine yeah. will be there. Yes, Jeff's commentating for for today's run. <laughs> nice. 
I'll be back. So love him or hate him, Jeff will be back. <laughs> you gotta love him. Um, can't, can't get rid of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for that. So make sure to make sure to tune in for that when that comes around. Yeah, I mentioned to uh, Switch before, but one of the main reasons I wanted to have 120 shines on uh, Time Capsule is because it's, uh, I think, a backup run instead for AGDQ, so might not see it at the main event. So it's a pleasure to have it going on right now here today. Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm super glad you you chose it. I think it's a great it's a great run. Oh yeah. So just finished up Serena Two. That was pretty good. Serena Two Reds. That was that was very solid. I gotta say. Um, so, so pretty clean. Now we're moving on to a few Delfino shines and then Rico Harbor, the last level of the game, which is yeah, pretty and cool. it's going to be a little interesting uh, coming up what you're about to see. Switch is going to do a few more Delfino shines before he heads back to the airstrip. Uh, the reason this is done is because you need ten sh uh, you need ten coins to get into airstrip. So. What used to happen before was you would just kind of like go through the sewers in Delfino, but now there's better ways to get these 10 coins. Uh, so she's going to get nine right here and one as he enters the next shine. Hmm. And, the sh and the coins will uh, transfer over between Delfino shines. So. The logic behind doing these shines at this point in the run as opposed to later. Yes, they are very convenient. And coming up is Pachinko. Who doesn't love yeah. Pachinko? God, I love the Pachinko. I loved it. Everyone loves this level. Everyone, I'm sure, every, anyone who's played this game, I'm sure has a memory with it. And whether that memory is good, you know, I'm not confirming, but I'm sure everyone has at least some kind of memory of it. This is weird. Um, uh. Wow, that was so dang good. I can't believe I made that work. Okay, we'll take it. That, hey, was... it is a, that is a one cycle. So. That's a one cycle. So that is what I want to do basically with Pachinko. I I flubbed like five things there, but I actually, I didn't die or fall off. So that's, yeah, I'll take that. It's all right. That's not bad. <laughs> uh, if you do die there, your coins will go back to zero. So Switch would have had to clean up the pennies of Isle Delfino to the trip to the airstrip. That's some death. Level. That is that was that is a death you do not want to have. Because you also have to redo Pachinko, and that's not fun. You lose time, and you lose more time if you die there. Switch is going back to airstrip now. Um, so the main mission of airstrip is to get eight red coins, but as you can see, there are a lot of yellow coins here. Switch is going to be picking up. Um, like I said earlier, the coins, the coins do transfer from Delfino, um, shine to Delfino shine, and there's a 100 coin shine unique to Delfino, so Airstrip counts as Delfino hundreds, I, you know, it's weird, but this Y switch is going to be picking up 99 coins here, because you cannot collect 100 coin shine, like in Mario 64, and then get another shine, so switch is going to have to get Airstrip with Airstrip Red Shine with 99 coins, and then go and get one coin in Delfino. It's a little weird. That fish hitting me really made me mad. I don't know why. I just, I like, man, I want to yell at that fish. <laughs> I would have if you weren't talking. I would have so been mad, but. Uh, Holy dude, it's fair. So it's, it's bullying, and it brings me back. <laughs> um, so yeah, with Airstrip Reds, and now we just have to get one coin. And uh, in Delfino, which there's one pretty convenient one right here. Um, yep. Spray the top window. This is very, very convenient. And it spawns all the way over here. Yeah. You can get there easily with the turbo nozzle. I wonder how good a rocket rollout would be there. I never really thought of that. Uh, not very. Yeah, <laughs> agreed. <laughs> So that is all the Delfino shines, and now we are going to go back to the last roll of the game. Rico yeah. Harbor. Rico Harbor. Four more shines, and uh, they're they're not that bad. I, I like I like Rico second half. It's pretty fun. And starting off, we're gonna go back to the blooper surfing safari. There's a second shine you can get. 
if you beat the level. The first shine is under, correct me if I'm wrong, 45 seconds, and the second one's under 35 seconds. Or 40. Yeah. So yeah. If, you, if you do this one faster, then you get a shine. But the strats we do, like, you know, you completely, if you glitch over the walls, then you can beat there 10 times pretty easily. So you're going to see in any category that gets blue coins, they usually end by Rico. And um, we were talking about earlier how you could trade blues in. That is because you trade right inside the building that contains Rico Harbor. So it's a small little routing thing that many of you probably know, but interesting to note. Um, and this is just another, this is literally the same exact shine as Rico 2 on earlier. Yes. I'll take that. 18 seconds is very respectable. I think a good time is like 16 or 17. Yahoo! Easiest secret is grass secret. Um, I don't, it's not a secret. Well, it's it's called grass secret, but I will say, okay, Pachinko, like when people complain about difficulty, I think Pachinko is there's none of the none of the things in there are that hard to do if you know how to do them. Like there's different things of difficulty because if you know how to get the top left and the bottom left ones of Pachinko easily, then it's a very easy level. But there's like just some weird mechanics that make it so much harder than it should be. But in Sandbird, even if you know what you're doing, when I was starting off 120, I still died a lot there. Same with Noki Six. So I don't think. Pachinko's just like you, you learn like one or two like you know strategies to it and you like will not you know you'll never struggle with it again. Yep. It's just weird mechanics that if you don't understand you'll <laughs> spend like an hour on it. Which that's not difficulty, that's just bad design. Oh it's bolt, I guess. Okay, hello. That was scary. <laughs> Last hidden red of the game right here. That was pretty good, yeah. 57 is pretty respectable. 58, actually. 58, excuse me. I know, 5804 is so much better. Insane. Sanity. Um, yeah, and now so we're just going to do the 100 coin, last 100 coin of the game. Rico 100 is super sick. Uh, I think it's one of the best levels in the game, personally. Um, which is going to get like 18 blues here, I believe. You get a lot of blues in Rico 100. Um, a lot of that, a lot of that's because, kind of like in Gelato, a lot of coins are next to blues, yellow coins. I do love this level, but I'm never as good as I want to be because I really don't get to the end of the game that often. <laughs> Because I reset a lot in this category, so it's it's a level that I'm... Whenever I do it, I feel like I'm out of practice because... It'll be like the first time in a week that I've played it. <laughs> it's... it's But actually, I, I have done some no resets lately. It's, it's it's definitely fun to play these levels more often because this is one of the cooler levels in the game. Yeah. Absolutely. So here, I'm... I'm uh, hover sliding under the sewers. I'm going to roll out and hit my head. I'm just gonna change Mario's hitbox so that he can kill this spider and Yoshi doesn't need to eat it. Why that changes Mario's hitbox, I have no idea, but. Uh, yeah. It also affects, like, if you try to kick a durian, you'll kick it, like, really far. <laughs> so, it happened to a lot of, like, it happened to me as a kid. I was really confused a yeah. lot. You can do it accidentally. My first 120 shot run I did accidentally and when I did try to get the durians and they weren't working, I'm like, what is going on? But... So normally it's not a thing that like helps you, but it does let you kill the spiders. I don't know. And I think pretty much any enemy, it can let you kill just by walking into it. Like like bloopers, it works as well. Yeah, we're gonna see that with a few enemies coming up. I wonder if it works on, on like... Because there aren't sewers in that many... Uh, locations, I guess. Yeah, only in Rico and Delfino. But... Right. So, so the crane here, its speed and position are actually both RNG. So, yeah. I gotta... Wasn't that slow. 
Depending on, sometimes you get a position that requires you to do like a crazy like backup strat, and that's that's where it gets scary. Yeah, when Switch says it's RNG, it is truly RNG. Like it can be anywhere from like really slow to just super quick. Um, so it, it's really interesting for that reason. Yeah. Switch is going to continue here. A lot of blues, like we said, are going to be lumped in with yellow coins. Um, you can do hundreds in every episode in, epi in uh, Rico Harbor. Little trivia for you. Every episode here. A lot of them are similar, but. Is this the level that you No. I believe you can do it in Bianco Hills and in Gelato. And. Yeah. Yeah, Bianco Hills is. That's, that's, that's good that that's a possibility, because first level of the game, it should be easy. Uh, I guess it's the first three levels you can do in it. In it in I wonder if that was intentional. Probably not. I, I, I would be shocked. <laughs> if you play Bingo, you just start to know every episode you can do hundreds in. So I will say that was that was not bad. That was a decent, that was decent hundreds. That was good. Clean. For the slow crane, yeah, that's fine. That was a pretty good hundred. Um, one more episode in Rico here. That was a sub uh, four. That's pretty good. Sub four, yeah, that's pretty impressive. So it's this next level, level, and won't you know it with SMS, it is an RNG based level. It is my favorite. Yeah. So, well, how does the RNG work? But she is going to want durian. That is the only fruit she will ever want in this level. He'll never want anything else. True that. Picky guy. Picky, picky little dinosaur there. Um, and so you're going to have to hit a fruit machine. There's no like fruit locations. And whether you get durian or not, it is completely up to fate. So I've seen people get like 10 plus fries and durians. It, it's it's kind of like King Boo. Well, not as punishing. I got a banana, so... Banana's the worst, you gotta spray it away. Uh, give me a durian, come on. Come on, give me a durian. I just not have world record. He is come eight. Come on, I just want a durian, come on. <laughs> yeah, this, this has happened before. Oh, no. Uh, uh, no. Oh uh, no! <laughs> this is awful. Oh my well, you, god! You'd, you'd, rather, you'd rather see it here than you'd rather wow. see it here than in the case run. Wow! Was that eight, nine? That was like that's probably the worst I've ever got. And that was pretty bad. I've gotten a lot of try before. Ugh, it's disgusting. Um, yeah, and he can just keep going, you know, he doesn't, didn't, he didn't need to stop there. Could have kept going. Remember Trey's, uh, first sub three? It was like low 259 pace, and then he, or like mid 259 pace, and we got like a million extras there, so it, it can make or break a run sometimes, really. Like, I will say so, it. yeah, you said, yeah, so I'm eight. World record's, um, 256, um, 20. Uh, by today, and I have 259.21, so I'm still still the three minutes away. But we'll say switch can easily like 258. So yes, not with this run, but yes. So uh, we are done with all the shines. Now all is left is Corona Mountain and the final Bowser fight, and cashing in the blue coins. Oh, well, yeah. What do you think of this run, Switch? What are what are your thoughts and feelings on it? My feelings are it this run it has gone okay. The star was really good, and then um, okay, the Bianca Six Red's death, and the uh, there is one more thing that happened. Okay, a lot of dumb stuff has happened, but uh, actually, I've, I've, I'm I'm happy with how it's gone. Oh. About what I expected. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Sub three would have been well. sick. That's hard. <laughs> yes, it's very hard. So, yeah, Switch will do Corona now. 
Um, okay, I'm not dying again. <laughs> that is... No, 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 no. is pretty... It, it's not that hard. If you're on PvP pace, though, you're more likely to mess it up, but you can say that with a lot of things. Right. Um, a lot of the time, runners will, like a runner will be like, will get out of Noki Bay and like an enemy percent run, and sometimes they won't even really be stressed about Corona or like that stress, because it's fairly easy. It's like medium, I'd say, in terms of difficulty, unless you go for like fast Corona. If you do fast Corona, you're stressed out. Yeah, you are so stressed that, out. That is the hard. It's, we, we don't see that here. Um, two more rocket storages to top off the run here. All right, well, I messed that up, so... Uh, no, this wasn't going to be through. All right, so we're in the final fight. Here we go, everyone. This is it. Peach in the in the turtle soup. One last cutscene for old time's sake here. Bowser Jr. sitting. <laughs> the goop coming up to his mouth. He's tiny. All right, let's go. So we got to ground pound the, the platforms to finish up this run. Yep. Um, this level is kind of annoying, um, but you're not like like goo you can get gooed pretty easily, but you're not likely to if you just do the normal strats. You'll be fine. Oh no! <laughs> Unlucky cube there. <laughs> All right. End time. All right, GGs. Congrats. With yeah, GGs. GGs everyone. So what do we? Yeah, what was the final time? It was three o four. Yeah, fifteen about. Around, around that. Around that time. So, yeah. Yeah, not bad. I, especially for, for like. Messing up, I don't remember. <laughs> that was that was like, ugh, but it happens. You know, it happens. There's there's a lot of splits that I was like really impressed by. So I think I played well. I'm happy with with how the run went. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you to Jeff for for the great comment. Of course, I really enjoyed that. Um, what what do you think? Should we swap to the Luigi hat anyway? <laughs> oh yeah, let me get that. <laughs> sure. PB, and my first, but this is a marathon PB for me since marathon. I've never ran this marathon. So, yeah. uh, I didn't realize this was the first time. That's that's exciting. I like yeah. that. I, well, I, I've done. I think I've done Luigi's Mansion actually, which is funny because I got the Luigi hat. But um, <laughs> I don't think I've done one. I've done SMS in the marathon, as far as I can remember. Maybe there's some old one, but. Aww. Um, yeah, this was a great. I mean, it was a great first first marathon experience. Um, so yeah, uh, Jeff, you have any? Any final words? Um, uh, thank you so much for having us, uh, GDQ, and oh, sure. everyone buy those buy those t-shirts. Um, <laughs> check out check out AGDQ, and of you know, it's for it's for good causes. Obviously, there's a lot going on in the world right now, so whatever you can do to help in the world, just uh, come by and support. It's a, it's a great organization Junior, and great. So I'm just super grateful for. Um, to be able to commentate and super grateful for the amazing organizers and everyone who came by, of course, and donated in the chat. Everyone, everyone is so beautiful, and I appreciate all of you. <laughs> yes, thank you for the support. Yeah. Seeing seeing you, uh, some familiar faces in chat was really nice. So I appreciate y'all that came out to support me. And those of you who don't know who I am, um, uh, you know, it's, it's great to it's great to see you all as well. Uh, I do stream this uh, pretty much every day. I'm getting I took a small break, but I'm getting back into 120 shines. So if you're into that. Um, you know, drop a follow, and I'm releasing one twenty chance tutorial as well uh, soon. So be on the lookout for that if you want to learn this category. I really recommend it. Um, shout out to everyone else in the SMS community. Uh, shout outs to you know everyone who's made developed strats to make this route possible. And you will likely see this category in a future GDQ uh, race or run or race. And um, you know, hopefully, we'll have even more stuff to show off, and you'll see any percent in. Um, AGDQ as well. I did it, so you know um, you'll 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 get more sunshine content. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> this was this was a this was a great experience. Uh, thank you for for having me and Jeff. Oh, uh, for sure. Time. Thank you.
thank you so much. Honestly, like 120 Shrines, I'm super glad we got to have this on the show. So please, everyone, if you enjoyed the run, make sure you follow Switchmaster64 here on Twitch, uh, as well as Jeff Compass here on Twitch. Thank you. Thank you both again. Um, this will be, I guess, the final reminder for AGQ 2021 uh, online. And the Yeti has a virtual attendee shirt on sale now. That's the yeti.com slash AGDQ going on from now until December 15th and this exclusive pre-order shirt will have a virtual attendee design and will be shipped out prior to the event so you can have it in time for the marathon taking place January 3rd through the 10th. Uh, as always, a portion of those proceeds for every shirt sale will be donated to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Tomorrow we have a double feature, new shows, Bargain Bin, as well as Speed Runs from the Crypt starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. Make sure to tune in for that. I have been your host, Smooth Operative, and that is going to wrap it up for tonight's episode of Time Capsule. Take care of yourselves and each other. We will see you next time. Bye, all. Bye. Bye.